beloved children. So, Matilda, do you think it would be good? You are silent. You don't know anything about it. Yeah. No. What do you think? Did it work? You didn't believe me. Come on, breathe, honey, breathe, push, push. Whoa, whoa, breathe. I can't do this anymore. Be patient for a while, breathe, breathe. Your husband will thank you so much. My husband's a freak, a bastard. Silly, that's the last time. Well done, well done. You made it, look what a big boy you gave birth to. I can't believe it. I had my last one today. Have you firmly decided? Yes, I'm tired, and I want to check on the children. When I sign the exchange forms, everyone asks Vera Ivanovna to take the children. Maybe you'll change your mind. No, no, I've made up my mind. I'm going to check on the kids, and then maybe I'll babysit the grandchildren. It's a little early for Milaka and Costa, but it's high time for Laraka. She's 38 years old after all. Do you want to go speed up the process? No way. Dahlia, I have to run, but don't oversleep. I ironed your shirt, don't forget dinner. You are the best wife, you know that. I know, but it's always nice to hear. Larisa Vasilevna, this is a great pie. Thank you, Misha. I'm not capable of such feats, to get up and immediately cook in the kitchen. It's not hard for me, and it's fun for Valya. Laura, your husband should put a monument to you in his lifetime. <laughs> the second one's on the move. Yeah. It's good, but it's not enough. Listen, can I ask to join your brigade? At least as a chauffeur? Do you even have a license? Yes, I forgot it at home, on the piano. Have a nice day, everyone. Likewise. Bye. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have a good gynecologist, clean, fast and not expensive. Matilda does not spoil my furniture. 
eats everything you give her goes to the cat tray, so you will not have a problem with it. What else? Water the flowers and look after the house. Don't worry, Vera. Everything will be fine. Tell me, how long are you going to stay there? Well, as it happens, I'm a free pensioner now, so... Kostik is my businessman. He didn't do well in school, but he made it all the same. What does your son do? I won't say that, but I did business like everyone else. He even sent me money. But it was Laraka who studied well. She graduated with a gold medal from my school and became a doctor and married very well. You know, her husband is a professor at a research institute. He goes to all kinds of conferences. He's a very big man. And Milaka has another talent. She has been a dancer since childhood. Now she studies at the second course of the University of Culture and will be a ballet master. At first, my husband and I resisted. Of course, but what can you do? The man has a talent, really. How can you argue with that? Milka, I love you. And I love you. All day long I've been thinking about you. And me. About you. I love you, my dear. Wait. Wait, wait. I have a surprise for you. Yes, which? Turn around. What is it? Is that from me? Of course it's from you. You're the only one I have. Andreas, I love you. I understand this is unexpected for you, for me too. But maybe it's for the best. I'll leave the club, we'll get married. What marriage? You're a stripper. Well, it didn't embarrass you before. Are you stupid? I'm married. Here you go. What is it? For an abortion. Andrew. Andrew, wait, wait. What do you want? Don't leave me. I love you very much, do you hear? If you have an abortion, call me. It's always the top floor. Do you know if we'll get a bonus there? I got myself some boots there. I've got my eye on them. They're expensive. We'll buy something cheaper. Are you crazy? I'm dreaming about them. Natasha. Well, thank God you're here. He felt bad three hours ago. I almost fainted from the pain. He says not to call a doctor. But how not to call a doctor if something serious happens? Where can I wash my hands? Right here. Come in. This has never happened before. Where is the patient? Right here. Valik, why are you so quiet? 
Tell us what your pain is. I think it's appendicitis. I had it in my childhood. It's very similar. What? You won't even come. Will you let me die? Do you know each other? About 20 years. That's funny. That's right. I'm Zana. Zana, don't. That's my wife. Oops. Oops. You couldn't have said it better. Did you eat this one? Natasha Berelgen. Nashba intramuscularly. And of course, diet is mandatory. Well, you know what diet, sick. Breakfast. Lunch, beer, remembered? Dinner. Laura, stop it. And bed rest. Of course, you're pretty good at that, though, aren't you? I almost died, and you start. Zana is my student. She writes a dissertation. She asked me to help, then I got sick. I see, I see. Bear your buttocks, Valentin Grigoryevic. Hello, Natasha. So one shot and that's it. Should we go to the hospital? There's no need for that. Not a bit of sympathy, Larisa Vasilevna. That's life, baby. Oh, that's some partying. Bye, friend. Bye, bye. Come on, girls. Oh, come on. Come on, so jump. Well, wait till you get home, wait. Wait, wait. Relax. That sucks. Where did she go? She's breathing, isn't she? Let's get out of here. Do you want to leave her here? Do you want to deal with the cops? How much have you drunk today, boy? You want trouble. I don't want any trouble. Let's get out of here before somebody sees us. Chris, you can't. No way. Why did she come out at 4 o'clock in the morning in the first place? Look, there's syringes all over the place. She's a junkie. Let's get out of here before anyone sees us. Let's go. I'm telling you. Hi, daddy. I broke my car. Please don't swear. I need you to fix it. I want it tomorrow morning. Tomorrow they'll pick it up, right? Thank you. Here you go. Bastard. Fucking philanderer. How old do you think she is, Natasha? 20 or 22? 20, 22, 23. Graduate student. She's moving science. You were great. You were so cool. I would have pulled all her hair. You know what, honey? You go ahead. I'll catch up.
If she died, how much would I get? For who? The junkie. Relax. She'll get up. She'll relax. She'll move on. We weren't there at all. Fuck off. Relax. Relax? I hit a man. Don't yell. Don't yell. My dad will get you off if you need it. Hello, daddy. No, I'm fine. The car will be here in two hours. Thank you so much. Love you, love you, love you. There you go. Congratulations. I live in this house every day at 5 o'clock in the morning Yusha and I go out for a walk and today we did we see a girl on the road Did you see the car? No, we didn't see anything Will the girl survive? I don't know Painful shock Multiple fractures I can't say anything else yet We're on our way Goodbye Why aren't the children meeting you? Oh, what's there to tear them away? They're all busy. I'll go by myself. Let me help you with my bag. No, no thanks. I'm on the next street to Milaka's dormitory. It's not far from here. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning, girls. Good morning. I'm going to feed you now. Where's your daughter? Didn't she spend the night? Mila doesn't live here anymore, Vera Ivanovna. Yeah, she moved out. Moved out? That's some news. She didn't tell me anything. So where is she? At Larissa's or at Kostya's? She seems to be renting an apartment. On a scholarship, she found a robot and moved out. She never liked the dorms. A job. What kind of job? The main thing is not to the detriment of her studies. She's only a sophomore after all. Yes. Why are you all silent? Didn't you sleep well? Do you have an address? No. Here you go, sweetie. You sleepy flies. Thanks. Not awake yet. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Let Mila deal with her mother. I agree. That's right. T. Come on. With jam. Hello. Hello. How do I find Milana Levchuk? She's a sophomore in your university. And I'm her mother. Have a seat. We'll find you, Milana. Thank you. 
She's studying choreography. She did. What do you mean? Milana Levchik was expelled last semester. Lara, are you home? Yesterday, the most ridiculous scene happened. I feel like a character in some vaudeville. The wife catches her husband with his mistress. The most vulgar situation. The last thing I wanted was to hurt you. You don't deserve it, darling. I've been up all night. Because of the seizure or the grad student did not give. I understand you're angry. There's a reason for that. Valya. I don't know how we'll live. I won't be able to forgive you. No, don't, don't. I'm sorry. I should have told you a long time ago, but I couldn't hurt you. What? How long has it been with you? About a year. What? Have you been deceiving me for a year? I didn't mean to. I did not expect this from myself. I thought it would pass, but no. Where is my gray suit? In the cleaner. Are you going to go to her? I think the best thing is for us to live separately. Valya. Wait, how did it even work out? We lived like this with you. We lived together for 20 years. Laraka, my girl, I'm grateful to you for these years. You're forever dear and close to me. But Zana is my love, passion, everything. Hello, my daughter. Mom. Oh, careful, it's heavy. Give it to me, Mom. It's nothing. It's not heavy. Do you know that Milochka has been expelled? No. She's just a child. I thought you would at least look after her. Mom, she's not a child. She's 19 years old. She was expelled from the university. She doesn't live in the dormitory. And she got a job. Did she tell you anything? Mom, she got a job. So what? Everyone is working now. And study. I wanted all of you to study, to be happy, and to have a good life. Oh. You look so pale, don't you? Yes. Is it a lot of work? Or maybe you're pregnant? No, Mom, I'm not pregnant. There's a lot of work. I'm very tired after my shift.
Mom, we have everything, really, why? Well, let it still be. After all, from his own garden, who am I spinning all this for? It's Volika's favorite eggplant caviar. He loves it so much. By the way, where is he? At work. He's on a business trip. Mom, how long will you be gone? So I retired. Laraka, I came for a week to see you. But now I don't know. I still have to find Milaka. By the way, is Kostya all right? I don't know. He doesn't complain. I'm a bit worried. What a tender soul we turned out to have. Tremulous, do you know that word, kitty? Do you take me for a moron? Not at all. I'm just sick of seeing your sour face. Don't watch. Chris, I hit a man. What's my face supposed to be like? Okay. Why don't you go take your mind off it? Why don't you sit at home? Okay. I'll come home, put a smile on your face. Practice kitty cat. You have to watch. Come in, Mum. Oh, Sonny. Wow, your neighbors are really rude. They rush by in their cars, ready to knock you down. It's beautiful. You know, I've only seen it on TV. Can I go there? Of course. You live like a real businessman. Your father would be proud of you. Too bad he didn't live long. Mom, maybe you're hungry. Let me order a pizza. No, no. I ate at Laraka's. You shouldn't indulge in booze. It's never done anyone any good. You're young. And with that kind of money, it's easy to go astray. That's where it all starts. Don't be too hard to me, Mum. How are you doing? You don't look so good. Your eyes gone out. Yes, I'm busy. I'm tired. I didn't sleep well. A lot of work. Do you know Milana works, too? Do you know where? I've been calling her all day today. And she's not answering. How much longer are you going to call? Do you want me to go with you to the abortion? Wait, please. There's nothing to wait for. He said he was married. There are no options. I want to see this wife. And then? Maybe there's no one. Andrusha lied to me. Listen, Dasha, do you know if it is possible to calculate the address on the car? I remember the number. Why not? If you really want to, you can do anything.
It's a cool house. We usually met at the hotel or our place. He didn't bring me here. It would be cool to live here, wouldn't it? Yes. I'm hungry. We've been here for almost three hours. I think I'll go for a coffee. No, we're not going anywhere. He's here. That. How cultured we are. I guess I have a wife after all. Who says she's a wife? Maybe she's some kind of whore or a relative. There's a baby. Your Andrew dickhead, while his wife was pregnant, he slept with you. Maybe he doesn't love her. Wake up, friend. He's just using you. Where? What do you get out of it? I don't know. Get an abortion and move on with your life. I'm sick and tired. Yes, mom. Oh, Milaka. Thank God. I was worried. I thought I was going crazy. Where are you? I'm sitting here. Milaka, I know everything. I'm happy for you. But dropping out is not the point. We need to have a serious talk. Come, I am at Larissa's. I can't. All right, let me come to you. What's the address? It's far away. You won't find it. Let's go to Larka's on Saturday, okay? Well, seriously, I brought presents. Let's sit with the family and discuss. I do not like that you do not communicate. You are family after all. Yeah, bye. Why she can't sit at home? Let's go. I need a vacation. You're not going on vacation at the right time. Lara, Lucia is on maternity leave. Smirnov has had a heart attack. Who's going to work? I know everything. Well, what then? I can't go to work anymore. I have no strength. Lara, what's happened? My husband. Is his health bad? He cheated on me. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Everything is clear. I know from experience how hard it is. Do you want some advice? Yes. Focus on work. It's distracting. You won't be sitting at home wondering from morning till night what you didn't give him. Oh my god, I can't stop thinking about it. Okay, Lara. I'm working till the end of the month and I'm leaving. How, where? We were lured to a private clinic after all. Yes? Yes, I will recommend you to my place. Unexpectedly. You'll get a bigger salary, a different schedule, and responsibility, of course. And then maybe I'll lure you to my private clinic. Polina, thank you. Chin up. Lara, life doesn't end there. Trust me, everything will be fine. I have a good gynecologist, clean, fast and not expensive. Mom. Oh, Lara. Are you trying to work yourself to death? No, I went to the supermarket. I look and need this and that, and there are such good discounts. Well, I didn't know what I was doing. Let's go. Come on. Don't touch it. It's heavy, and I bought Valika rabbit. He likes rabbit, doesn't he? Well, now he's more tasty into Chinese food. Oh, I don't know anything in Chinese food. Mom, you don't have to. I wanted to make everyone their favorite dish for Saturday. Day. It's my pleasure. Mom. Well, then he'll eat the rabbit. Laraka, the cream is ready. Yeah. 
As they get cold, you can fill them up. Brother Rabbit, in the oven, well. What a cutlet. Oh, we'll treat Milika with meatballs today. Do you know how she loved them as a child? She could eat five of them at a time. Yes, she could. Well, when is Valentin coming? He called and said he couldn't come. How can he not? My mother-in-law is here, the rabbit is stewing, the whole family is here, and he can't. I'll call him now. Mum, don't please. Serious people, solving serious problems, and here you with a rabbit, where to? All right. I'm sorry. Where's my boy going? I want to visit my mother. I don't believe it. What's the real reason? Mom's here. She wants to see everybody. Okay. I won't be long. Do you have somebody? No. Kostia, look, if I find out. Then what? You're mine and I'm not going to share you with anybody. Chris, really there's no one. I'm just going to have lunch with my family. I'm just hungry. I'll have lunch with you. My dear children, since then your daddy has died, you've gone away, and I'm alone. Mom. Well, I didn't let myself get too melancholy and started sewing quilts. Well, that's right. Because they remind me of our lives. Sewn together of joy and sorrow, love and betrayal, success and failure. And when I sewed them, I thought of each of you. Mom. Wait. It's soft and tender, just like you, Larissa. It's so soft you can wipe your feet on me. Never mind. Thank you, Mom. It's a very nice dress. And this one is colorful and bright, like your talent and youth, Milaka. It's very similar. Thanks. Your naloka is very tasty. Raspberry, right? I'll pour myself some. Listen, if you're here, act normal. It's just that your mom is great. Yeah. And the blankets are great. This must be for Kostia. <laughs> Kostia. And this yellow one is a symbol of strength and energy. Well, and nobility. Thanks, Mum. Nobility. Nobility is just about our cat, isn't it? Will you calm down? Meow. I'm very happy that you're all together today. And please help yourselves. Laraka and I tried very hard. It's all you, Mom. It's really good. Okay, I'm going for a smoke, and here's a nice way to wrap it up. Can I finish this? Uh-huh. And where can I smoke? In the kitchen. Well, have a smoke in the kitchen. Thanks. Bone. This girl, Christina. She's not for you. You're not serious. Well, she's not for you. Look at her. What kind of manners? What kind of behavior is that? What is that on her arm? Is that a tattoo? 
and she smokes. Oh. Let me handle this by myself. She's no match for you. But Tanya Voliko, she works with me in the maternity hospital. She's always asking about you. Mom, everyone asks about him. Such a nice girl. Maybe you could call her. Maybe you'd meet and... Pass the cheese. Milaka, why aren't you talking? What about me? Why are you so silent, so quiet? And what do you want to hear from me? A lot of things. Well, you wanted to study so much to enroll, and suddenly you change your mind. It is possible to live without studying. So what's the point? Larissa has been suffering for 10 years, now she gives enemas to grandmothers at night, is that good? Why do you say that Lara is a great specialist? She helps people. She saves lives. And you probably found a better job, right? Yes. Enlighten us with which one? I dance. Yes. I get good money. Men drive me home. They give me flowers. Well, okay. Milaka, tell us, where do you dance? In a folk dance group. Very well. In a folk dance group. Christine? You are being defiant. Sorry, Mom. One might even say indecent. Sorry, Chris. Me? Yes. Chris? Chris. Listen. What? Why don't you be the one to watch your kids? Huh? Chris, calm down. Because this talented girl here. Chris, don't. What? She's a talented little girl. A good girl. She works hard in street bars. And the men shoving money in her underpants for it. And by the way, there is a reason for it. Because your Milka ass rolls excellent, and as you noted, talent. That's a lie. Mom, sorry, Christine, I had too much to drink. We'll probably go home. No, we're not going anywhere. You're a fucking alpha. Did you know he lives in my apartment? He lives in my apartment. On my money, he is eat my food. Stop it, did you say everything? My businessman. Let's go. And he hit a girl a couple of days ago. And as you may have noticed, he nobly ran away. What? Isn't that on straightly? I just picked up a girl in serious condition. Yeah. Kostia. How could you do that? What did you say? You raise your husband right. Stop it. Do you know that he has a mistress? Calm down, let's go. And that she's got boobs and they're from her ears and she's old enough to be your daughter. Did you say everything? And Kostak saw them together, but he didn't want to say anything because he was such a good guy. Don't be offended, I'm for the truth. I'll go too. It was very tasty, thank you. Beloved children. I couldn't even imagine what was going on here. How could you let this happen? You're the eldest. You must have had some influence on them. Mom, I knew as much as you did. Where am I? You're all in the same town. So what? We called, we said to each other, Hi, how are you? I'm fine. That's all. That's life, Mom. Caustic will go to jail. Serves him right for being a fool. Don't say that. He's your brother. 
Mom, he left a man on the street to die. I took this girl away, there was nothing left on her. And our Milka grew up impudent, never denies herself anything. And now we have what we have. What do you mean? It's my fault? Mom, it's all our fault. Have a drink and go to bed, please. Laura, is it true about Valak? It's true. What happened? You heard he's having an affair. And with whom do you know? I do not know. Some graduate student, but who cares? Good night. I need to know the condition of the girl who was hit by a car a couple of days ago. We only give references to relatives. Wait, please tell me, is she alive? Yes. And is she conscious? Please. That's all. She's in a stable and serious condition. Thank you. Costia, are you still mad? So I'm a fucking lucky hoe. Huh? When have I ever taken money from you? I don't know. I don't count it. But you live in my apartment and drive my car. But if this is your opinion of me, why do you need me? Because you're handsome, Kostia. You are not ashamed to show your girlfriends. Well, great. What? I'm just kidding. Christina got drunk and blurted it out. Don't worry about it. Let's go for breakfast. No. Yes. Kostya, hey. I know you're working from 11 today, but there are two clients who want to see you. Will you do it? Okay, I'll be there in 15 minutes. Sorry, I have to go to work. They'll get over it. Hi. Hi, Ruzik. I'm all there. Let's go in five minutes. And where are the clients? Here yeah, they are waiting for you. <laughs> what kind of tricks are these? Well, after yesterday, we couldn't go to that apartment, and Larissa knew where to find you. Super, and you couldn't think of anything better to say than that you are clients. What if you'd run away from us? Son, tell me what happened. I was on my way back from the club. Drunk. Drunk. Well, Mum, I didn't see where she popped out of. She was at the drugstore buying medicine for her grandmother. There were medicines lying all over the road. You were driving drunk. What were you thinking? 
He wasn't thinking about anything. Mom, the life of the golden youth has hit him in the head. You know how many of them I've seen in the ambulance because of them people die. What do you mean? Did she die? No, she alive. Still alive. And we're going to go with Larissa to this girl in the hospital. And we want you to come with us. Me? Why I can't? What's the matter with you, Kostya? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? I have work all day long. You'll get off. Mom, he's just scared. You're afraid to look her in the eye, aren't you? Coward. Nastia. Eat one more spoonful. You eat so little. You need your strength. I feel better already. Grandma, go home and rest. Well, I can see how you feel better. Even your voice is hoarse. Hello. Good afternoon. Are you Nastia? Yes, she's Nastia. Who are you? I'm the ambulance doctor who took Nastia away from the accident. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. How nice. Nastenka, look how attentive the doctor is. She came to check on me. Here are fruits, vitamins, get well. Thank you. This is my mother, Vera Ivanovna. Nice to meet you. We were on our way to run some errands and thought we'd stop by. Do you mind? No. Let's go outside and talk. Of course. Nastenka, I'm going out and I'll be back in a few minutes. Get well, Nastia. I'm so glad I came to you, Constantine. Honestly, I did not expect such an effect. I already fit into him, size, pants. And you have a lot of experience? Five years. I started as a student. University of Physical Education and Sports. So you're an athlete? Sort of. I like your massage. But I can't go on a diet. I know it's unhealthy. I know I shouldn't. I can't deny myself. I indulge myself with sweets. I felt bad last night. I had a heart attack. I always have pills, but when I rushed out, I didn't have any, and I don't know where I put them. Nastia ran to the pharmacy at night. If I had known this would happen, I wouldn't have let her go. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to check on me. Apart from you students from Nastia's university came, but no one else, just me and Nastia. Where are Nastinka's parents? When Nastia was seven years old, they died in the mountains. They were geologists. And let me try to arrange a separate room for Nastia. You can rest there, lie down, because you are all on your feet. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good daughter. Goodbye, Constantine. See you Saturday. Goodbye. See you Saturday. Hello, Lara. 
Are you still there? Yes, I'm still in the hospital. And how is she? Not good, closed head injury, soft tissue contusions, fractures of the lower limbs and the most unpleasant fracture of bones and pelvis. It's awful. She was operated on. Now she's going to be monitored. The doctor says she might need another operation. In any case, it is up to 12 weeks of bed rest. And it's all because of me. It's good that you understand. I have agreed on a separate room. It is paid, but it's okay. I paid. There is also an impressive list of medicines. And how much? How much can it all cost? Well, it's going to cost a pretty penny. I have savings. My mother tried to pay, but I think it would be right if you help the poor girl, Kostia. She's got no one, her parents are dead, and her grandmother is old and sick. There's no one to help her. I got it. Slova, do you have a minute? What do you want? Slova, is it realistic to get paid three months in advance? Are you kidding? And for a month? Listen, this month you have worked for a week at most. You have constant postponements, some urgent cases, Kostia. I'm going to look for someone else in your place. Slova, don't look. I really need this job. I can do it over time. There's no way out. I really need the money. Okay. I'll pay you in a week. Have a good evening. See you Wednesday. Ruslan, listen, I'm selling a phone and a watch here. Why? They are almost new, so do not worry, I will give them for half the price. Ask around, maybe someone needs it. Okay. No problem. And if someone needs a massage on the road in a private way, also beat me. I will take everything. Of course, Kostia. So, what's up? Never mind. Bye. <laughs> Sweetheart, I've come to cheer you up. Is that for me? Of course for you, everything for my girl. I bought the freshest eclairs like you like. Valik, you're so romantic. I have to compensate for my age. I don't even want to hear it. You're the youngest for me. Oh, it must be from the Institute. They're looking for me. Volya, this is Vera Ivanovna. My respects. I want to talk to you. I'm in town. Hello, Volya, did you hear? Have you heard about us with Lara? That's why I'm calling. You tell me where to go, I can do it. And it won't take long. Okay. Come to the institute. In two hours, I'll have a break. Excuse me. Could you tell me how to find Subsov's office? Second door on the right. Thank you.
come in. Hello. Zdravstvo. Hello, Vera Ivanovna, please sit down. I want to warn you right away I have 15 minutes at most. I'm listening to you attentively. Valya, dear. What are you doing to my Larica? Why are you doing this? You've been together for almost 20 years. She's for you. She gave away her youth and everything. I know, I know. You're a smart man. You're a big scientist. Look at everything soberly. My young mistress, I still can't get over it. Ovalia, whom I know, whom I love. He would never do that. I get the gist of it, is that it? No. I just started. Please come to your senses. Please come to your senses. You and Laraka are such a good, harmonious couple. I always looked at you and was glad to see you. Don't be silly. Come back before it's too late. Did Larissa send you? No, my heart is breaking. Let's not be too tragic. Larissa will arrange her personal life. Don't be silly. She loves you and always has. And you. For the sake of some short skirt decided to ruin your life and hers. I'm grateful to Larissa for the years we've spent together, but that's all, and I'm sorry, Vera Ivanovna, but I have to go. Don't do that. I only want what's best for you. Yeah. You fool, Valentine. Hi. As always. Have a seat. What a freak, bastard. What's wrong? Do you have a drink? One sip. It's Garrick's shift. Garrick will kill you. Check it out. Andrew brought some bitch with him. I'm sure it's to spike me. Don't get carried away. Give it to me. Listen, maybe we should call his wife. Tell her to come and see it. Don't be crazy, Mila. I'll go scratch her hands. And what good will that do? You want to get your man back. You gotta do it smart. Get dressed. Stop talking. It's almost time to go. Good evening. Good evening. Woman, where are you going? Aren't you confused? I'm here to see my daughter. She's a dancer. This is a men's club. No. Let her come out, Mila. You know her. Go home, lady. Have a nice evening.
Oh my god. Daughter, you shouldn't work in this place. Aren't you disgusted? Imagine not. A job as a job is as good as any. Shut up, please. And if your father saw you... Mom, he's not here, stop it. Well, I'm taking you home. We're going tomorrow. Yes, right away. Mom, what am I going to do in this hole? What hole? What have you seen in this life? What have I seen? Come out, please. What? Pots, maternity hospital. You haven't even been abroad to the sea. And I want a beautiful, bright life. So, first of all, let's go back to the university. Do you hear me? I don't need it. What do you need? Do you need this? Do you need this? Calm down. I won't work here all my life. I'll get married soon. Is that true? Do you have a boyfriend? Or are you telling me so I'll leave you alone? No, I'm serious. He's rich and successful. I'll beat Kostya and Larissa, you'll see. Lara, are you still awake? No, Mom, I'm awake. Where were you so late? T. Millis Club. Oh, you should have seen her. I can imagine. You can't. Well, you've wasted your time, right? I wanted to help you. But I can't do anything. Nobody wants it. I'm going home. Mom. Mathild is waiting for me. Mom, what are you doing? What are you talking about? We all love you. We all need you. And Kostya and Milka and me. And everybody. We just don't know how to tell you. We're stupid. Mom, I really need you. You know I can't come home to an empty apartment. You know how nauseating it is. But when you're here it's different. Come on, honey, stay with me please. I'm sorry, my girl. For what, mom? For everything. Coffee delivery and croissants. How did you find me? I found it. The coffee is still hot. I'm coming in, or the neighbors will see. What are you doing here? You said you'd have an abortion, didn't you? I said to call not to come. Is everything all right? Yes. How much time do we have? Actually, I never meet at my place. How about a couple of hours? Volya, I'm so hungry for sunshine and warmth. Can we go somewhere? 
Zana, I'm scheduled to leave in August. What charts? Valya, it's funny to listen to. You're the second man in the institute. So whatever you say, that's how it's going to be. No one even dares to squeak. And I'll take care of the tickets today. Don't you think we'll be too late? You said it yourself. I'm the second person in the institute. Come to the institute and go straight to the director to confront him. Listen, it would be a good idea to iron it. The iron is in the bedroom. You are a goddess. All for you, my love. Come on, it's time for you to go. My wife might be here by now. You know, actually, I wanted to leave you. And why didn't you? Because I love you. Come on, it's time for you to go and don't come here anymore. Whatever you say, my love. I'll call you. Hello? Hello. I've been looking for you. I just got here. Isn't 12 o'clock a little late? You've never done this before? Circumstances, you know, listen, I want to have a word with you. You're having an affair with Glady Shiva. Tell me, what do you think? You're a respectable man, a scientist, with your position and rank, and you're having an affair with a young girl. She's how many years younger than you? Age doesn't matter, Misha. I feel like I've had a breath of fresh air. Oh, come on, she's using you, can't you see that? I watched her defense in six months. How many dissertations have you written for her? Zana does everything herself. She's a smart girl and I'm just advising. I strongly recommend that you stop all this. This is simply unacceptable. I left my wife. Oh, you fool. You fool. How did you know? This is my institute, Folia. I find out everything about everyone sooner or later. Well, I do not understand you. Well, for the sake of whom you waste your life for this little talk? Larissa is a beautiful woman, smart, beautiful. Go beg her forgiveness, lay at her feet. Maybe she'll forgive you. What a fool. Hi, are you waiting for me? I went to the supermarket. Hello, Laraka, Valentin Grigorievic. I haven't seen you for a long time. Yes, hello. Well, go already. Tell me, what are you trying to do? Be more specific. I do not understand. Why are you sending your mother to my superiors? Or were you at Mish's yourself? Is that your way of getting me back? It's stupid and mean to act through my superiors. First of all, I didn't ask anyone to do anything and I didn't go anywhere myself. And secondly, it's not sneaky for me. Stop it, I'm in trouble. The director found out somehow. Maybe Zana shared her happiness. 
Stop it please Misha was angry reprimanded me like boys as you know all prizes publications trips to conferences abroad depend on him you put pressure on me from all sides I can't go on like this Yes I was going to wait until my passions had calmed down But now I'm sorry I'm filing for divorce let's dot the i's and cross the t's Aren't you going to say anything? Your shirt's not ironed. Laura, is that you? Yes, mom. Wash your hands. I'm going to feed you now. Here. Oh, mom, I don't want to. Thank you. Listen, I saw Valentin coming. Did he wake up? I told you he would. Will you forgive him? I understand it's not easy, but trust me. Mom, what kind of come to his senses? He came to tell me in person about the divorce. What? If I'd had a child, there'd be none of this. And you've been stalling. I've waited for so many years. And you dragged. And you reached. Mom, it was Valya who didn't want a baby, not me. How's that? He didn't want kids. You know, he got annoyed when I started these topics. He lived in science. He demanded my attention. He wanted me to stay at home and serve him, to quit my job. So I gave up everything for him, sacrificed everything because I loved him. You should have cheated. I got pregnant. Where would he have gone? Mom, children don't save you from adultery. And you know it very well. You had two of us. Did that stop your father? There was a woman. Yeah. Kostya, salute. Where have you been, Wanda? On the job. Do you know what is that? Kitty came home from work and made some money. The breadwinner, right? Didn't you tell me we were having a party tonight? I was bored. Did you have fun? Dania, open up. Why are you so angry? People are pouring in and out. There is not even enough alcohol for everyone. Great. Good evening, delivery. Oh, you read my mind. What did you bring? Internet pharmacy. You ordered. What? I ordered it. How much did it turn out? Okay. Holy shit. Are you sick? What the fuck? Why do you need medication? Christina, my money was here. Where is it? Why do you need medicine? Chris, I don't have time. Here was my money. Where is it? I took it. I didn't have any cash, and they brought food and booze. Did you pay for all my money? Is there a problem with that, kitty? Yes, Chris, there's a problem. I fucking sold my phone and watch. I got to go buy some medicine for Nastia, I promise. Well, who the hell is this Nastia? The girl we ran over. We... Okay, I hit her. I want to help her. Just give me the card. I'll take it off. Nastia is going to get it off. She shouldn't have run under the wheels. Fuck it. 
What? Are you, are you really doing this because of some bitch? What are you doing for dough? Choke on it. Uh, funds you say. I'm sorry, man. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Come on, I'll tell you. Luisa Vasilyevna, please wait. Yes? I want you to meet Yuri Petrovich, our new employee. He worked in Libya and now he's back. I have no experience in the ambulance. With Polina Grigorieva's permission, I want to travel with different crews and see how are you working. Will you take me? Of course. We need staff. Let's go. Where is this Libya? North Africa. That's what I thought. Africa. It's warm, sunny, elephants running around, people are lucky, aren't they, Larissa Vasilyevna? I wouldn't say that. There's a war, a coup. Are you interested in politics? Well, yes. Not only cooking, does it surprise you? Are you one of those men for whom women are not smart? And how did you come to this Libya? Doctors without borders, have you heard? No. And our doctor is strict and serious, right? You know what kind of characters we have, and situations. You can write books. Larissa, let's write a book when we retire. Hello, mom. Hi, did Kostya call? I don't answer. He's probably busy at work. What job? Look at the time. He bought drugs? I don't know. He probably didn't buy it. That's why he's not picking up the phone. I'm going to call him now. Well, what's the point? He's going to lie about something, okay? We have to decide something. Bye. And Doctors Without Borders is cool, right? Well, sort of. Oh, hello, toilers. What people did mother send you? Is she bothering you? Yes. Your Christina made a mess. Is she stupid or what? I broke up with her. Yes. Why? We did not agree on global warming and melting glaciers. Did you know that the ice in Antarctica is melting at a breakneck speed? <laughs> just kidding. Let me stay overnight. I'll just stay for a little while until I rent a house. Whoa, Constantine, I can move. Let's go. Will you take the bag? Yes, of course. I made the bed for you on the sofa. It's a bit squashed, but there's no other. Okay. Listen, Kostya, did you really hit somebody? Yeah. It's awful. I feel like such a jerk. Laka hates me, and probably my mother too. I hate myself. I'll never drink again. Well, besides not drinking, what are you going to do? I was going to help the girl, but the money is gone. Was it stolen? Sort of. Christina spent it. What a bitch. Yeah, no, I'll earn. I'll get private orders, but it takes all the time, and he does not. 
I got a present. I don't need it yet. Hold on. Mila, are you serious? Is this enough? Yes, just enough for the first time. Thank you. I'll pay you back when I earn money. Beloved children. What took so long to get here? It's called an ambulance. Ten minutes have passed since you called. Show me where to go. Olakeka, my girl, the ambulance is here. Rust remover, Yuri Petrovich. We usually don't take our shoes off if we have to run away. Not barefoot. I told you everything happens. And often? Well. Mom, can you step back, please? Yuri Petrovich, tell us. Olya came home late. I scolded her, sent her to bed. I heard her crying. She got a message from her boyfriend, so I went to the kitchen to make tea. I came back, and she was drinking this disgusting stuff. Did she drink a lot? I don't know. I knocked it out of her hands. God, she's 16 years old, and she's a fool. We give her in the fourth. I didn't have time to flush it, and it started foaming. It's good. With chemical poisoning, it's dangerous. It would only make things worse. 40 to 60. But they usually rinse it out. Why are are you silent? Are you in charge here? Treat her. The doctor is doing the right thing. Hello, this is Unit 3. We have chemical poisoning. A girl of 16. We need intensive care. Tell them we're on our way. That's it. To the hospital? I won't let her go to the hospital. You leave her there in the corridor, and no one will come. She needs intensive care, and they are waiting for her there. I won't let her in. Treat her here. For God's sake, sign a waiver of hospitalization and watch your girl die in your arms. You're a bitch doctor. And you probably have no sympathy and no children either. Natasha, we need a stretcher. I'll take her. Natasha, take the if mom. Get away from the baby. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. And what do you need this for? It's for the toxicologist. <laughs> what a fool you are. Just don't do it again. Ever. Do you know what kind of man you'll find? He'll love only you for the rest of his life. Forget that asshole. He'll be sorry. Would you really have left if your mother had persisted? We would have taken her by force, but fear usually works well. And what if the two of you and Natasha had carried her on a stretcher? What to do? Sometimes relatives help, sometimes neighbors, sometimes yourself on the principle that you pay and you carry. Do not worry, doctor, get used to it. You will not hear such things. And you're good. Good morning. Good morning. Sign your order. Yes. Please. Bye. Lara, I got everything. So how is she? Not so good. Will you come in? No. She doesn't remember anything, if that's what you're afraid of. Well, she's here because of me. I can't. There's Nastia's grandma, Maria Ignashevna. So you call me. Okay. Here are the medicines. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's all here. Yeah.
My God, what kind of prices are these drugs? It's unbelievable, Larisa Vasilevna. Why didn't your brother come in? He has things to do. Don't bother. Who wants to look at a cripple? What kind of talk is that? So you're sure to get better. Everything will be fine. You have to have faith. The world is not without good people after all. I'm going to find an old package, then you can buy one. Okay. Sita, you're crazy. Why is your cosmetics in my bathroom? Yulia Viktorovna, I'm sorry, but it's not mine. What do you mean it's not yours? Whose is it? I don't use it. Maybe the nannies. We should ask. Nanny doesn't use cosmetics at all. By the way, I found your earring. What is it? When I made the bed, it fell out. Were you looking for it? I was looking for it. Take it. Who did you fuck? What? I'm not Yulia, what are you doing? What the fuck is this? Give it to your whore. How could you, Andrew? Bring some girl into my apartment, into my bed. I hate you. Yulia, there's been a mistake. A mistake. So I'm filing for divorce. Here are your things. Take them and leave this house and you will never see me and Eva again. Understand? Get out. Andrew is not going to get a divorce, so we have to make his wife kick him out herself. Well, she won't put up with it. You've seen her. And here I am, Milaka. I'll take him in my arms and give him a child. As they say, all inclusive. You're hot, my friend. Are you sick again? I look at you and I don't want to have children myself. What's the rush? Hi. Are she at home? Mila, someone's here to see you. Oh, hello, Andrisha. You came? I'm glad to see you. I understand. I'm the third extra. What are you doing? What the hell did you do, you bitch? What have you done, bitch? You think you're the smartest. What are you talking about? You're hurting me, listen. Don't you dare, I'm carrying your baby. What? I'm sorry, I couldn't get an abortion. Andrew, I understand you're angry now. But when you calm down, you'll understand that you need me, you need us, we will love you. You stupid sheep. You stupid sheep. What the hell do I need you with your love? You're no match for my Julia. 
She graduated from university in the States, speaks three languages, goes with her father-in-law who owns half the city. Who are you? You told me you like me. Oh, you're stupid. I liked your ass. And she won't forgive you, and will wait you. <coughs> Bitch. Hey, man, you guys. Rude. Milka. Milka, why did you open our door? What are you doing? Why so much blood? How? It really hurts. Probably have to go to the hospital. Quiet, come on. My head is spinning. It'll pass. Get up. Come on. Quiet, Miller. Miller, sis, everything will be all right. Come on. Everything will be all right. Do you hear? Hello, ambulance. May I? Do you remember the detergent poisoning? Of course. How could I forget? They filed a complaint against you. They made a complaint about you. You yelled and threatened. You didn't want to point out medical care. Took the girl to the hospital by force. Well, it's not true. But I have to react. But there really needed hospitalization. Polina, there. Larissa Vasilevna, this complaint is very inappropriate. You yourself should understand. I give you the best characteristics, and here is such. I understand. So you'll write an explanatory letter. Okay. Larissa Vasilievna, hello. Is everything okay? Yes. Can I have a look? Please. You go to these calls, you treat them, and as a result, you end up with nothing but complaints. One dissatisfaction, if only someone would say thank you, not once in ten years. You know, I will also write an apology. I remember that call very well. You acted correctly and professionally. Look, please don't. Really don't. You know how many more of these you will write. I can't stand injustice. Yes, Sonny. I'm already in the hospital. What department? Gynecology. Why? Milka will kill me. But you should know better. She's pregnant. How pregnant? How as usual? I think you know more about it than I do. I'm coming. <clears throat> Sweetheart. How come? Did you call her? Mila. Kostya did the right thing. I'm your mother. You look so pale, my daughter. Why didn't you tell me? What is the gestational age? None. You'll be fine. You'll just lie there. Take some vitamins and everything will be fine. By the way, they're giving you a very good advice here. We also give you this medicine when you have a breakdown. Have you told your fiancé? Did you call him? Mom, I want to sleep. It's not your fault. It often happens at early terms. All right, go on without me. I have to go to work. You hang in there, sis. Thanks. Mom, don't worry. Everything went well in time. Milka is under control. The doctor said everything will be fine. Thank God. Milka, do you want something to eat? 
Or should we call the fiancé? Mom, that's enough. The groom is married, do you understand? What do you mean? Married. And you said to marry him? How come? He doesn't need me and neither does the child. He explained it to me very clearly, so he almost died. You see, you won't reproach me anymore. Did he hit you? I won't be here today, so just reschedule my clients, okay. Yes. So reschedule them. Is Dasha here yet? Depends on who's asking. Is the roommate suitable? Come in. What do you want? I hear that my boy is still angry. I thought that he has already recovered. When will you come back? In the next life. Funny, I'm alone in the bathroom. No, not alone with a bottle of champagne. Not interesting, Chris. I hear some music. Where are you? I'm in the conservatory. Bye. Yesterday, some schmuck threw 50 fake bucks. Is that okay? Asshole, he should have left his number. Yes. Hi, Milk is not here. I know, come here. What happened? I call her, she doesn't pick up the phone, Garrick is freaking out. Who is she pregnant with? She's pregnant. How do you know? Kostya, I don't know. Don't lie to me, not now. Yulia, forgive me. Fuck you and your presence. Listen to me. Don't touch me. I do not know how it happened. I do not even know her name. Are you serious? That should make me feel better. You brought some girl into my apartment. Where our daughter lives. Have you got some nerve? Should I forgive you? Fuck you. Do you really want to be alone? Do you really want Eva to grow up without a father? You're too late to think of our daughter. I swear it won't happen again. I promise you. I only want you. I don't believe you. You know where the door is. Okay, if that's the way you want it to be, if that's the way you decide. What the hell was that? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, what? Are you tired of living? Well, come down. I'll kill the bastard. I'll kill the bastard. To my sister, motherfucker. What are you? How are you? Have you come to intercede for your sister? You almost killed her, bastard. Stop fighting. Andrew. You'll be in jail for a long time, I guarantee it. Yeah. Andrew, calm down. I called the police. Fine, I just tell them how your hobby almost killed my pregnant sister. Let go. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. Should we call an ambulance? You're such a bastard. Let go of me already. That's it, that's it. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay. Daughter? You can only be here until 10, so I'll come tomorrow morning. What can I get you? I don't want that baby. Mom, tomorrow I'll tell them to take it away. Are you serious? If I had been conscious when Kostya brought me in, 
I would have told them not to keep it. Don't you dare think, what are you doing? You know how much I've seen in our maternity hospital. They make a lot of abortions and then want to give birth. They take years of treatment, crying tears like that and nothing. Doctor, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm Mila Levchuk's mother. Don't worry, your daughter will be fine. We'll keep her, she'll stay with us for a couple of days, then you can come and get her. Yes, thank you for that. I'm a midwife myself, I understand. But if my daughter suddenly talks about an abortion, I beg you, don't agree. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's so stressed, she's crying, snotty, nervous. She's just a child herself. She has one thing today and another tomorrow. And if it's not done well, she won't get it back. It's true. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Mom, you're awake. Do you want tea or coffee? Hello? Hi, Laura, it's me. Did you change your number? Yes, no, I just called. Don't worry yourself and don't tell me, okay? I'm at the police. Because of Nastia. No, it's different. I just called so you don't worry. Weren't we worried? What's the matter with you? Kind of a bully. Can you explain what department you're in? I had coffee. I couldn't sleep half the night. And then God knows what I dreamt about. Laraka, are you in some kind of trouble at work? No, no, I'm fine. What a fool you are. You know you could go to jail. They can. But I do not regret. Or rather, I regret that I did not give enough to the goat. At least you're in one piece. Did you see how swollen your voice is? Do you have a headache? All right, hero, I'll go find out. Listen to this, a fight. Damage to personal property, a protocol was drawn up. There is a statement from the victim. Comrade investigator, my brother Kostya is a very emotional guy and there is such a monstrous situation, your complainant. It isn't ours, I understand everything. So help me. Well, what about this one? Where do I put it? What to do? Tell me what can I do? Well, listen. Try to agree with the victim. Let him take the statement. And you compensate for the damage. Property and apologize. And we will let your emotional left check go. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Please bring some ointment, because I have a meeting today and I look like this. Here. Maybe you should see a doctor after all. Come on. Open it. Open it yourself. I have to feed Eva, come on.
Hello. Who do you want? I need Andrei Sargavik. Well? I'm Larissa Zubtsova's sister of Kostya and Mila. I don't know any Mila. Andrew, who is it? This is from Housing and Maintenance Office. What don't you understand? Get out of here. Please take the statement away. Very funny. Look at your kinsman's work. He's going to rot in jail. Honestly, I think you deserve it. Seriously? Seriously. How much do you want? You don't have that much. Let's not spoil the guy's life, especially since you started it first. Just so you understand, I didn't start it. Milka and I were having fun. She got pregnant. I gave her money for an abortion. She didn't have it. She wants to divorce my wife and me. Is she out of her mind? Andrew, where did you disappear to? The woman from the housing and maintenance office is here. We're dealing with her. Hello, hello. Goodbye. If you don't take the statement, Mila will write a counter-legal complaint against you for rape and battery. Stop. 10,000 to repair the car and I take the statement. Not much. Just write. Do you have a deal? Mom, he wants 10,000. I have. He wants $10,000. I'll sell the house. Yeah. Where will you live? Calm down. You'd better get Kostya out. Why did he go to him? I've got 5000 I need to find another 5000 Can I borrow it from someone? I know where the money is. Hello, Valya. Valya. What an unpleasant story. But of course, no problem. I remember Kostya as a four-year-old child. Yes, don't worry. I'll go to the bank tomorrow morning and I'll call you right away. Yes, bye. You drink it, Valya, before it gets cold. Yes, yes, thank you. So why you have to go to the bank? Lara wants money. I got that already. How much? Dollars. Wow. Her brother's in a bad situation. I have to help him. The boy's grown up before my eyes. So you left her a four-room apartment, all the equipment, all the furnishings, and she's still not enough? Zana, the boy is in the police. What if it's a fairy tale? Maybe they want to get as much money out of you as they can. Don't think badly of people. They think badly of me. The director ignores not to say hello. I don't want to ruin my defense. Come on, please stop it. Well, it's people whispering and gossiping behind my back. You're a man, you're all right, but all the gossip is on me. Calm down. Valya, do you still love her? Darling, what are you talking about? Are you sorry you left her? No, I'm telling you, only you, only you're my love. You don't just give your ex-wives $5,000 each, Valya. You haven't forgotten her yet. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Traffic was heavy this morning. You look good. You've lost weight or something. Thank you. How are you? Did you have a stroke? No. No. Thank God. Thank you for helping me. And what's going on at work? What's going on? If you are afraid of people, I understand the money is 5,000. Let's get in the car. I'm sorry, but I don't have any money. Circumstances, you know, it's a long explanation. Your circumstances are called Jean. Lara, it's not that simple. It's simple. Why did you call me here? You've wasted my time. What's going on? Do you have your passport with you? I know you always carry it. Yeah, why? I've been asked to file for divorce and I need you for this. That's why you called me here. And I thought... Lara, sooner or later, it was going to happen. Let's go. Why delay the inevitable? Don't touch me.
the reason for the dissolution of the marriage? Zana, is the reason good enough? The marriage has outlived itself, is that a sufficient reason? Basically, the reason is that people didn't see eye to eye. 19 years we've been getting along, and by 20, we're not getting along. Please don't make this harder than it has to be, right what you think is right, it's all the same. So 20 years is the same. I don't understand their policy of waiting a whole month. What nonsense. Sweetie, let's go. Bye, Lara. Bye, sweetie. Larissa Vasilevna, wait. Are you crying? Never mind. Are you going to work? Yes. Let me give you a ride. No need. It's a two meter walk. No refusals. Let's go. Thank you. I think you need a drink. Thank you. You know, it all kind of came together overnight. My brother got in trouble, beat up a guy's car. And now he might go to jail. And the guy is demanding 10,000. I have five. And I need to find another five somewhere. The man who promised to help betrayed me and cheated, and it still hurts. My brother counts on me, and my mother and my sister in the hospital also counts on me. That's okay. We'll get through this, yes. Yuri Petrovich, you caught me in a moment of weakness, and how have you adapted to us? If you have any questions or have any problems, don't hesitate to ask. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi, dear. What's that supposed to mean? You and him. There's no way to understand it. Why are you crying? Oh, it takes a long time to explain. You could not find another time. I thought you would be in all your glory, in full dress. You will be presented to the whole team. What makes you say that? Polina didn't tell me anything. Yeah, that's all anyone ever talks about. Then we'll get drunk. Let's go. Really? Is everyone here? Can we begin? We can. Don't run away at once. Let's celebrate Lara's appointment. You all know I'm leaving. And next week you will have a new doctor with experience and ambitions to make this substation the best in the city. And I beg you all to help him in this. His candidacy is approved at the top, a surgeon of the highest category with extensive practical experience in hot spots and emergency situations. You have in principle had time to meet him, Carolyn Yuri Petrovich, please. Some of you, I already know some of you I will get to know in the process. You can get to work.
I didn't mean to cross you. I didn't know you were considering this position. Larissa. Laura, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't warn you. I found out myself only yesterday evening. Until last I was sure that you would be appointed. Polina Grigorievna, why did you arrange all this? To travel with brigades? To get acquainted with the team with the work? Carolyn offered, I didn't mind. I didn't know where he was going, Laura. He had connections upstairs. It wasn't up to me. Please forgive me again. How are you doing? Are you dizzy? I'm fine. We'll go to Laris's anyway. You'll be supervised there. Mom, what's that for? So health is no joke. I know what I'm saying. You've lost so much blood. Your blood pressure can spike. What if Kostya hadn't made it? Huh? Have you thought about what could have happened? You won't give up, will you? Don't even think about it. Larissa will be happy. Of course. Oh, you're a silly. You silly. Eat. Now you have to eat for two. So you're quitting your club. You've already decided everything for me, haven't you? Since it happened. It's a bit early, of course, but we'll manage. Mom, how else can I explain? I don't want this baby. Don't you dare say that. Laraka does not have children. How do you think she suffers? Maybe Valentin would not have left then. Being left alone at 40 is a good thing. Old and useless. Don't talk about your sister that way. Mom, don't talk like that, but it's true, you know. Laraka will be glad to help with the baby. Her maternal instinct will take over and everything will be fine. Laraka, I tell Milaka not to make mistakes. Three of us are going to raise a baby, and that's happiness. Mom, that's enough. I told you, I don't want this baby. What's wrong? I don't want it. What am I going to walk around like a hippo for half a year? Then I'll get stretch marks. My breasts will sag. That's not what you're thinking about. And then where will I put it? My whole life will go wrong. We're done here. You're just like your whore mother. What? What did you just say? You think your mother has no one to protect her. It's not your mother. Laura. Stop protecting her. She doesn't pity anyone. It's my mother. And your mother is a whore who stole our father out of the family when Caustic was not yet four years old. What kind of nonsense is this? And then she left you and ran away because you got in her way. You know, like your baby got in your way. She had her life all messed up. If it wasn't for Vera Ivanovna, who raised you and nurtured you no one knows where you'd be my dear so shut your filthy mouth and think with your head before you yell here okay and what was that don't be offended I couldn't tell you you were small you wouldn't understand now I grown up I couldn't find the right words. But Larissa did. And who is my mother? Your father had a woman. I just had Kostya when he was little. I was in bed with the kids. And he was making money going away on long voyages, not being home for weeks. He drove and drove and drove. And then he got tired of it. She agonized. She cried. And then he put the question straight, me or her. And he took off and went to her. She, does she have a name? Toma, I don't know her last name. What happened next? 
I don't know what happened. But two years later, your father came back with you in his arms. You were so small and skinny and afraid of everything. I took you in my arms, and you put your arms around me and never let go. Mom immediately called. Well, I am your mother. I love you. I know, but Toma, where is she? Abroad somewhere? I don't know. Have you seen her? Well, once. She's beautiful, good figure, that's all. And in all that time, she didn't want to meet me or call me once? Well, I don't know. Beloved children. Laura. I understand that you have problems and you're all nervous. And so am I. But that's no reason to pounce. So I just spilled everything out to her. Mom. I'm sorry I couldn't help it, really, but after all Milka is a grown-up, she knows the truth, she does things like this herself. But she's pregnant. And what? That justifies her. Um, don't cry. Or we'll drink medicine instead of coffee, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a pity for the girl. She's not ready yet. So, is your little soul happy? Happy. Look at these discounts. It's a celebration of life. Volya, let's go there again. Well, Zana, it's too much for me, really. Too much? And you sit down. Can I buy you an ice cream? Yes, and a rooster on a stick. Okay. Young man, are you sick? No. Would you like some water or an ambulance? Thank you. I'm fine. Don't worry. Valya, can you imagine? There's nothing interesting there. Lady, why did you leave your father? He's an old man, and it's stuffy here. There are a lot of people. Valya, are you really sick? Your elderly father feels 20 years old, just at 12 a.m. I need to take a pill. I put a reminder. And the woman didn't get it. Let's go, daughter. Valya. Let's go. Larissa. Mom, what's wrong? Look what you've accomplished. 
I'm sorry. What should I do now? Well, he doesn't take it. Mom, she's 19 years old. Let her live her own life. She's only 19 years old. Mom, she's already 19 years old. Valya, why are you upset? Why take the words of some stranger's aunt so personally? She's right. I'm old enough to be your father. Only in passport, but in state of mind younger than young people. You just have to adjust your style a little bit, that's all. What's wrong? That's right, just less minimalism, that's all. But Sona has already taken care of everything. She bought you a lot of things. I can give you 300 bucks. Mishka said maybe 200, but only if it's for a month. Thanks, guys. At least something. And what about your hero lover? Has he changed his mind? He has Zana. Men are jerks. They only think about themselves. Spread your shoulders. Spin around. Look how handsome you are. Don't you think that's a bit too much? No, I don't think you're super macho. Just go like that. And to work too, I'll get fired. Jealous, not fired. Have you finished the article yet? Yes, tonight, the Italians are in a hurry. The conference is coming up. Will you translate it? Of course I will. It's a great article from a great publisher. I can only dream about it. Well, baby, dreams come true. Put your name in history. Are you serious? Valya, you know, it's the best present. And you're the best man. Zana, Zana. What? I still have to work. You'll have time. Zana. You're already a genius. Oh, you. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you feeling? Almost fine. Why? You're the doctor who saved my silly girl. He was the one who carried you in his arms. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother anyone. She didn't mean to. You're lucky to be alive. Why did you write a complaint about Sobtsova? Mom? There was no need to shout and threaten. I don't have any complaints about you, but let them deal with her. Mama, that's enough. Excuse her. Is that for me? To Larissa Vasilyevna Subsova, I think it would be right if you thank her personally. Come on, I'll take you to her, please. Hi. I'm here to see you. Is Kostya home? I call him. He doesn't pick up. He's not at work. We had a kind of fight. He's not at home. Sorry. I'm in a hurry. So when will he be home? It's okay. I'll wait. Don't wait. He's at the police. What the hell? Why did he give up? He's smart enough. He got into a fight to protect Milan. Now we're in so much trouble. The chemical drinker. Olia. Alive and on her feet. 
Thank you for saving me and forgive my mother. Thank you, Oyae. Cool. The flowers are amazing. Thank you. I'm sorry. Bye. If I had an article in a foreign journal, it would make everything so much easier with my defense. I have so many detractors because of our relationship. Isn't your name a fox? Well, Val, how many of these publications do you have? 100, 200. A lot. One more, one less. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Well, hello, dear. Hello. You look nice. How are you feeling? Fine, please sit down. You recognize me, don't you? Granny shouldn't have asked you. I could have done it myself. I brought you a poppy seed cake. I took a couple of pieces from home. Mm. It smells delicious, thank you. You're welcome. Did you cook for your own? Of course. Do you have a big family? Two daughters and a son. Wow. That's great. Do you have any pictures of them? Well, I just love looking at pictures. You look at a person and immediately understand what they are like and what they are thinking. My grandmother always carries my picture in her purse. So I asked, Vera Ivanovna, you're just like her. Here. Mila. That's my Larissa. You've seen her. Yes. She's a little younger here. And what about your son? That's not a good photo. Look. Why are you looking like that? Your son is handsome. Yes. It's a pity that he won't even look at me now. Come on, baby. What do you mean? You're such a beautiful, smart girl. You'll have such a boyfriend. He will love you more than anyone else and will carry you in his arms, really. Yeah. Get well. Oh, Mila, are you? Hello, Aunt Galia. What a beauty you've become. Would you like an apple? Here you go. No, thanks. Are you going to be on TV soon? Vera has been telling us all about you. Are you going on vacation or what? Or what? And where is your mother? Vera, Vera. It's me. I just met Mila. Where are you? Outside. Where are you? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, oh, my gosh. Called. Yes, Larissa Vasilevna. Have a seat. Once again, I did not know that you were applying for the position of a senior doctor. And if you knew, would you be? No. I think I'm on my revenge and I can do a lot here. Well, of course you have a shaggy paw, which helped you. It will help here, right? And I do not like such things patronage, money, calls. Tell me your highest category also on a call. Or do you still know how to do something? Well, yes. 
You're angry. You are. If you're done, I'll go. Yes, a friend helped me. I saved his life once. Don't give me that heartfelt talk. You deceived me. You deceived all of us. You traveled with brigades for some reason. You lied to us. Who are we to you? It would have taken me months to get acquainted with the work. And so I got to know each team, found out the kitchen of the substation. I did the small thing, cutting down on time and nerves. You did the right thing. Good for you. Thank you, Larissa Vasilevna. <clears throat> have you solved your problem with your brother? No need to seem nice. I understood everything about you. You didn't answer. I'm solving my problem with my brother. Wait. <clears throat> Here's 5,000, take it. I needed this money for my apartment, but the buying process is dragging on, so I don't need it yet. I'm sorry, I'm not taking it. Would you rather have your brother go to jail than take money from a scoundrel like me? Hello, Uncle Kalia. It's Milana Levchuk. Mila, what a surprise. Come in. What's wrong? I have something to do with you. Yeah. Come on in. Where did this beauty come from? To Dr. Zubsova from Grateful Patients. Come on, did her man bide? No, a girl. Well, I told him all that I think about him. Laraka, it's not a good idea to fight. We have to live with him. You'd better bake your special pie, feed the bachelor. And maybe the contact would be better. Yeah, wouldn't it be too greasy for him to eat my pies? I won't bake any more cakes for anyone. I couldn't keep my husband down with that. It's not like I'm asking him to marry you. Amelia Ovovna, where did you get such valuable information that our Yuri is not married? A magpie from the staff brought it on the tail. And he was not married or divorced, children, repeatedly. He is a widower, and his wife died. They lived abroad for a long time. Doctors without borders or something else were somewhere in Africa. And there was malaria and tuberculosis and HIV. In short, the whole bouquet, I had one friend, the conditions were awful, and he survived only six months. What about Carolyn? He worked for four years. And then there was a coup. Or in short, his wife died, and he was thrown in jail. That's a shame. The man suffered a lot. Yeah, he was in jail for two years until he was released or exchanged. And then he stayed in our hospital for a long time. So that's it. You look just like your father. Same nose, same eyes. I know his face very well. We were partners for 20 years. I miss him. He was a good friend. What about you? What's the matter with you and your mother? I want to know about Tamara. Tamara? I don't remember. The woman who gave birth to me. 
My father went to her. You couldn't have known. Did they tell you that? They did. Who is she? She worked in a cafe on the highway, behind Znamenka. For our brother there all the conditions for the fugue stand. Tasty, inexpensive, we often stayed there. Toma, she was young and beautiful, just like you. Vasily couldn't resist. They fell in love. Things can happen on the road. We're all in harm's way. Tamaka got pregnant. And he went to her. And then what happened? He was happy at first. He thought he started a new life, but he didn't forget his friends. He brought a car for Kostya and something for the elder daughter from the luggage. When you were born, something went wrong for Toma and Vasya. Your dad started to get into trouble. They even suspended him from the flight for a while. And what about tomorrow? We came back from the voyage. The house was empty. You were asleep in bed. And there was a note on the table. I could go to the ship. I want to earn money and tell the world. And where could Vasya go with the child? He went to Vera, and she took him in. I see. <clears throat> Do you know where Tamara is now? No, I haven't seen that cuckoo since that time. And the last name? I didn't look at her passport. Do you know anything else? Uncle Kalia, please remember, it's very important. Oh, I don't know if it's still there. This is your mother. I told you she's beautiful. She is beautiful. So, at least something. Yeah. Yes? Finally. Mila, are you home? Have you reported? You can't do that. She left without saying anything. I can't find myself. How do you feel? I'm fine. I'll be there. No, mom. I'm 19 years old. Stop calling me and controlling me all the time. If you come, I'll leave. Okay, okay. How long will you be there? I wrote. I want to find tomorrow. Good morning, Yuri Petrovich. Good morning. How was your work? It's quiet today. Even managed to sleep. That's good. Larisa Vasilevna, my effort still stands. Do you realize that prison will break your brother? Maybe you'll change your mind. I won't offer any more. I'm not in the habit of imposing. Is that money? Laura, why don't you take it? We only collected a thousand for you. 
Okay, I will definitely give you and now I will write a receipt in front of witnesses that you do not think. Okay, I won't think about it. Thank you. Misha, you asked me to come in. Yes, come in. Explain to me please why you look like that. I'm sick of all these old men's suits. I thought, why all this officialism? It's not like we're going to discos. You are the deputy director of a scientific institute. Your staff looks at you. Do you want someone to show up tomorrow in a bikini? Got it. Okay, it'll be the man in the box again. I'm sorry, but it's not age appropriate. It won't happen again, is that what you called for? The Italians sent you an invitation to a conference and want someone from the young. So I decided to consult. Who do you see? Zana Gladysheva. Are you serious? Quite. The topic is close to her besides, she will soon have a defense and participation in a conference of this level would really help the girl. Yes, I could have guessed that you had all this going on. I should have guessed from your torn jeans, Volia. Come to your senses. Stop it. And I'm stopping Misha. I'm divorcing Larissa and marrying Zana. Even to this point, Volia, you're making a mistake. This is my life, my life. Yes, you're right, it's yours. You maternal and tizzy don't forget to send. Cool. And I've already rewritten everything. I got a little stuck on the terminology in the last paragraph. It took me a little while to write. You're well done and very on time. So what's the mood? How did it go? Great mood. You and I are going to Rome. Where to? Rome on vacation. Almost to a conference. I just talked to the director. You are on the list of participants. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. The inviting party pays for the flight and meals. One of the best hotels, views of the ancient city, a spa and a great restaurant. I've been there many times. My girl, I will show you everything. Volia, did I tell you that I adore you? Tell me now. I do. Excuse me, have I passed Snamenka yet? 20 more minutes. Do you know Cafe Voyage? It should be on the highway here. Are you hungry? There are cafes near every pole these days. Las Vegas, Miami. They're all over the place. Did I write it right at the top here? What a handwriting. I told you to be more legible. I write the way I know how. Let's finish it and get it over with. Write a complaint to Mr. Levcha Konstantin Vasilievich. I do not have date. Signature. When are you going to let my brother go? We will. We will not keep him in custody. I told you it's better to solve everything amicably. It's better for everyone. The date.
Is this right? Yeah. I hope not to see you again. Hello. Menu. Thank you. Later. I'm looking for this woman. She worked here 20 years ago. I wasn't born then. Well, maybe there is someone who knows her. I really need to find her. Nina? How long have you been working? Well enough. Hello. Do you know this woman? Oh. It's Tamara. I told you. What do you know about her? Oh, come on. Of course I know her. That's Tomka Nazarova. I was at school with her at the same desk. And then we moved here and got a job. We thought we'd settled down for a year. See how it turned out? No. It used to be such a fun place to hang out. Music, good tips, and free food. We lived very poor. Tomka wore only one dress. Her mom died. She lived with her aunt. She was a real pest. So why are you looking for her? I want to pay my debt. Lie. She quit a long time ago. I know. Where can I find her? In the vast ocean. Look for her. She's probably sitting somewhere in a castle chewing bananas. I'm the only one who's a fool to fry fish. She called me. And where did she live here? She lived at her aunt's. In the village, three kilometers down the road. Thanks. Thank you for what? My aunt has been dead for a year or so. I thought she'd come to the funeral. Thanks again. Wait. Are you her daughter? Hello, are you looking for someone? Yes, the mistress. She died. The current one is abroad, why? And this is the number of the mistress? No, Agent Spring Buyers here. The house is for sale, but no one is going to take it. The house is strong and will stand. We have a beautiful place. Fresh air are rowing for us. Thank you. Hello, I would like to buy a house for sale. How can I contact the hostess? I don't care what the price is, my brother's a big businessman. Aha. My God, the baby is alive and well, thank God. Mom, he's alive and well. Hi, sis. Hi, little brother. Hi. Shall we go? What don't you like here? No, I'm not coming back here. Yes, I hope so. What do you want, free? Calm down him. What's the matter? Take the money back. 
I didn't know you knew such people. I could have told you right away. The conversation would have been different. I don't understand now. Why are you playing the innocent sheep? Are you? It's easier for me to give them than to fuck them up. To fuck off from whom? It's all even. I never want to see your family again. What was that? Did he give all the money away? Wow. Let's go. Let's go. Surprise, my love. Hash, hash. Why aren't you happy? Your friends are here to congratulate you. Your friends, not mine. What do you want? Get your brain together. Do you think they let you go? I called my daddy, made a couple of calls, and you're out? You moron, did you get the money? Yes. That's how things are done. And you're not grateful, you don't even want to kiss me. Shall we go? Let's go out and celebrate. Did I ask you anything? And your dad? I'm not going anywhere with you, goodbye. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, son, let's go. Christina, don't worry, you'll find another cat. Let's go. Sit down and eat. Son, sit down. You've lost weight. And of course you're nervous. I haven't slept for several nights either. Sorry, mom, for the hundredth time. You'd better tell your mother what plans you have for the future. What are they? Work and work again. You see, mom, our boy has grown up. Where's Milka? Is she still in hospital? How is she doing? Milka's gone. What do you mean? Where did she go? To look for her mother. That's what I said. For what? It just happened. And I thought I was the one who has problems with the brain. Maybe I was a bad mother to her. Mom. Mom, Mila will come back, you'll see. She won't go anywhere. We're family. So look, the area is great. You can eventually build up the second floor. 30 acres of land for sale with the house next to a garden. Well, forest, fresh air, nature. I think your mom will be very happy. I would like to bargain to bring down the price a little. Can you give me the contact of the owner? I apologize, but we do not communicate directly with buyers and sellers. Because we lose our percentage, it happens differently, and the price, well, there are no such prices, well, almost for nothing. I have all the documents in hand, so we can make out. Okay, I agree. Great. Only by proxy I will not take. Two different happens. Let the landlady come to the deal herself. Well, I need to call her just a minute. Look, this is the first real buyer. I've been selling your house for a year and what do I tell her? Okay. Well, tomorrow Mikhailovna said that she can come to the deal in about a week. Is that okay with you? Yes. Great. Thank you. Yes, thank you too. See you later. Goodbye. Hi, hi, I'm already there. I'm happy. At least you warned me earlier. Dude, you gave us a hell of a time here. Sorry, it happened that way. I will settle everything with Slava. He's got a client. Okay. 
I want you to fire Konstantin Levchuk. What exactly are your complaints? He was rude to me. Kostia. He was not sober several times, or drugged I don't know, I am not too good at it. Then he pestered me, allowed all sorts of indecent jokes about my figure, and I am a VIP client. Well, I do not pay small money and I do not want to tolerate such a service. I promise I'll take care of it. Great. Have a nice day, Christina. Let's go talk. I'll, I'll explain everything. Here's the paper, here's the pen, write your statement. Slava, I know I messed up, I couldn't call, I got arrested. I really need this job. Stop. I remember in this very office you told me the same text. I'll try not to have any more breakdowns. Kostya, you are a top-class master, a professional, but you're really annoying. The clients are complaining about you. Who? Christina? We used to date, we even lived together, we broke up on my initiative, so she's getting her revenge. Look, Christina is a VIP client, she's got a gold card. Slava. Okay. Here's the deal, you go apologize, solve the problem, and maybe then I'll give you one last chance. Anything I can do. Nastia, are you in pain? Will you stop it? Grandma, it can't get any worse. Hello? Hello. Hello? May I, how are you feeling? I see you on the mend. They're allowed to roll over, we're trying. Well done, Nastia. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. Do you have news for us? Have you found out who hit Nastya yet? No, we're still looking for her. I wanted to ask you if you remember anything. Yes, I remember. Beloved children, good afternoon. Hello. I must be out of time. Your Kostia. Aren't you Vera Ivanovna's son? I've seen your photo. I just came to see you, so to speak. I see you're busy. This is the investigator. He's investigating Nastya, looking for who hit her. It's good that you support Nastya. Bringing flowers, that's commendable. 
Nastya, will heal faster. You know the world is full of good people, people you don't know, but they help us so much. Thank you. It's rare nowadays. How do you know about Nastya? Kostya's sister is an ambulance doctor, the one who saved Nastya. So that's how we met. And their mother Vera Ivanovna is a golden person, and in general the whole family is very good people. So you see, not only scoundrels walk the earth. So what do you remember, Nastya? Maybe some names, some faces. No, I couldn't remember faces, but I have a woman's hysterical scream in my head all the time. Like, get out, get out. But that doesn't help, does it? It's not much. That's okay. But we know there were at least two of them, and one of them was a woman. Feel better and call me if you remember anything. You have my number. Goodbye. Goodbye, well done. I'll walk you out. Thank you for the flowers and the bear. You're welcome. And thanks for the medicine. Yeah. That's a bummer. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It was worse at first. I've been running all my life, and then I can't even stand up. But the doctors say that maybe I'll walk. I've already started to roll over and not to lie like a log. Hold on. I'm sorry, I'll go. Kostia. Will you come again? Was Nastia there? Yeah. I should have had the courage to look her in the eye at some point. And how was it? Well, it's hard. Shit, Laura, I'm such a bastard. Stop it. You came here, you're helping, you care about her. Yeah, it was an investigator on the case. I even thought of confessing, but I got parched and she looked at me with her eyes and smiled. Laura, I'm not a coward. So I'll give up. Who will be relieved by this? Me? Is this about you again? Have you thought about the girl? who will raise her, me and my mom or the old granny. You can't undo what you've done. You have to undo it. You know what? Put her on her feet and go give her up. I'm so ugly. Why ugly? You're in the hospital. So I won't stay long. Grandma. 
Can you take my cosmetic bag? It seems to be in my backpack. Okay. But make sure you take it. Hello, I'm listening. Lara, I just got a call from the registry office. They have a free time today. Someone refused at 5 p.m. Can you? Why aren't you saying anything? No need to pull the cat by the tail. No need to pull the cat by the tail. I have one thing to do, but I'll make it. Great, 5 o'clock then. Don't forget to bring Zana to supervise. You've become mean. It doesn't suit you. No way. Hello. Hello. Have a seat. Thank you. What are we going to do? I have a divorce today. I want to look my best. Well, then a hair kick dying. I browse manicure. Go ahead. You'll look not a hundred, but three hundred. You won't want to get a divorce. Oh, don't do that. Yulia, help us please. Hello. This is Yulia. My name is Tanya. We will work with you. What are you doing here? We had an accident on the Ring Road. Tell me later where they make these beauties. Okay. Is it your birthday or what? Almost. Well, then I owe you a gift. Let's go. Let's go. So if you have a couple of smart guys, let me take them with pleasure. You know what our staffing shortage is. I think I got the big picture. I'm looking forward to it. I want to take a graduate student to us, one intern in each brigade. Let's see who will be good students. We will not quickly leave, but I think the issue will be resolved. Well, that's great. Why are you here? It's not your shift today. I didn't need your money, thank you. Your receipt. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Everything is solved. I'm so glad. Thank you very much. If you need anything, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much, really. You look good today. There's a reason. Birthday? I think I wrote it all out. I don't remember that. I'm getting a divorce. It happens. You said help. Well, to ask you for help, that's what you might need. Okay. Yes. How about today, at 17 o'clock, do you have half an hour? We'll find it. What do you need? It's not far from here. <sighs> don't worry, I'm not getting a divorce. Wait, I'm sorry, I don't understand anything. I'll explain. The thing is that my ex, he always goes with his girlfriend, and she is a graduate student. Legs from the ears, but not the point. It's just that he recently came out with her and it's very strange. I'm rambling, right? I'm sorry, don't be. Larissa. I'm sorry, sorry. Sweetie, do you think we can get through this in half an hour? I think so. I also want to go shopping. I need new shoes and a suit for the conference. Italy, after all, I need stylish, but austere. I'm sorry, we have an appointment for five, we're all here. Yes, I know for five o'clock, please wait. No, have you seen this? You'll get gray hair while you're getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. 
What's not over yet? 10 past 6. I stopped for a cappuccino, like you like, and a pastry. Thank you. Cappuccino and a pastry, seriously? A little endorphin boost has never hurt anyone. That's what I'm telling you as a doctor. Larissa doesn't like sweets. I do now. Thank you, that's just beautiful. You're the one who's just beautiful. The hell I am. Lady, I beg your pardon, but how long can you wait? I'll call you in a second. You got yourself a man. That's fast. You too. I think she put on lipstick and did her hair. How long has it been with you? Come on in. Thank you. Valya, go already. Are you tired? Yeah. It's okay, we'll go to the restaurant. I made a reservation. Oh, that's nice. He's a good man. He made the reservation. And you were worried about her. Our star is at her best. You didn't make a reservation by any chance? No, no. Where's your window open? What's wrong? Should we stop it? No, okay. You shouldn't have thrown the ring away. That girl is going to leave it soon. What makes you think that? Well, I'm a bit of a physiognomist. I know people. Oh yeah, you probably get rabbits out of cylinders, right? Well, what did you see there? The young lady is not a fool in mind. I really did not watch long, but in sincerity of her feelings hard to believe. What about him? Does he really love her? How old is he now? 51. He feels that he's getting old. He tries to prove to those around him and to himself in the first place that he's still able to do a lot, for example, to make a young woman fall in love with him. I'm 10 years younger than him. That's his problem, not yours. He's not drinking yet. He has a pancreas. Where are we going? I told you I booked a table at a restaurant. They said it's a trendy place, good food. Oh, Yuri Petrovich, you shouldn't have. That's really unnecessary. I don't want to, I can't. Is it better to lie at home and cry into a pillow? Let's get out of the car. Don't expect much fun. Of course. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I haven't been in a restaurant in 100 years. The last time I think it was Valak's anniversary. You're thinking of him after all. Of course I do. It's hard to cross out 20 years in one day. I understand. Eat up. It'll get cold. Thank you for coming. I didn't think it was so important to me. I invited you once in the heat of the moment. You looked at me so awkwardly that I felt embarrassed. I was just confused. No woman has ever invited me to a divorce. Only I was getting married. 
and you didn't participate in the amateur act, you would have been good at it. I'm sorry if I let myself get carried away. No, no, I loved it, especially when Valak was angry. It was really very funny. What am I thinking of him again? Let's drink some wine. Give me your hand. Careful. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely evening. Thank you, really. Maybe I can walk you to your apartment. Would you like to kiss me? Larissa, you've had a hard day. Don't tell me what I know. And your wine didn't work. I need to take some stronger painkillers. Doctor, save the patient. Forget it. And I saw everything. Oh, you're awake. Are you calming your nerves? Who is he? Mom, I finished school long ago. Well, you didn't answer the question. It was a man. He kissed me for real. I've long since forgotten how to do it. I don't want to hear that at all. Have you been drinking? I'm just a little bit. I'm a free woman. I have the right, mom. I'm divorced. I'm divorced. That's all. I couldn't see in the dark how old he is. I don't know. I didn't ask. Are you serious about this? No, that's all. Oh, you're a silly girl. And the patchwork is bright. The patchwork is dark. And only with time you can see the general pattern. Like in life. What else do you want? Huh? I want to get some things, guys. Come on in. Come on in. Constantine. You're home. Whoa. What? You lied to me about that your brother being detained. Zana warned me that it could happen. 
You just needed my money. It's disgusting. We are been taken care of without you. The new boyfriend helped. Unlike you, he's a man and keeps his word. How long has it been going on between you two? Yoy also made me feel guilty. What did you bring up your daughter, Vera Ivanovna? Hello, Valentin. Hello. What have you got here? Sekis, mum. Take what you want and goodbye, as Kostya says. I can do other things too. Guys, what are you waiting for? Listen, I think Valentin is jealous. Oh, mom, leave me alone. What? I can't get a word in edgewise? What a guy, he's taking everything in a row. She's a professor, will you have a fork, brother? I can wrap them. When is this going to end, for God's sake? Do you want me to kick his ass? Don't you dare. What are you doing? I'll kick your ass. Are you sure? Right. We don't need more police. Mom, would you like tea? Make some. Everything will be all right. Keep the change. What's that? I moved my stuff I had, so to speak, severed the final umbilical cord. Valya, I'm sorry, but it doesn't fit in with my decor, and that chair is all ripped off. No way. It's, it's my favorite chair. I use it for all my scientific breakthroughs, so to speak, in short. It makes me feel good. I see that you also had a good time. Did you buy what you wanted? And more. Did you have enough money? Plenty, so you can't expect any change. I see. Weren't you going to buy a suit? And I bought this. Tell me, am I hot? Shall we have a drink at the club? When tonight? Yeah. I'm a bit tired. I think my blood pressure's up. Well, you'll have to treat it. Let's stay home and cook something nice. I can't. My friends are waiting for me. I have to go, I promised. And you take a pill and clean up, if you are strong enough. Hi, are you awake? No, come in. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm in a good mood. Will you share? <laughs> I'll give you an answer then. Here. I downloaded some music and movies for you. Cartoons? I didn't know that you watch, but everyone loves cartoons. Thank you. How are you today? I'm rolling over calmly. And your legs, may I? Yes. So... Are you doing exercises? Yes. Okay. What about the massage? There's one girl for every room. Sometimes she comes in. I see. Okay, wait. Hello. Hello. I'm a friend of your patient in room 242. Nastya Moranova, what happened? Yes, she said you only have one massa. 
It's true, the work is hard, the pay is low. The fact is that by education I am a rehabilitologist and the last five years working as a master, including with the bedridden patient. Now I have two severe cases, but if you do not mind, then I could in next year to work. What's your name? Kostya Konstantin Levchik. I'll show you my diplomas and see how I work. We will definitely see your diplomas and how you work. So you want to come work for us. But it's a part-time job. Okay. The schedule is free. Great. Don't you even ask how much you'll get? No. Great. Tomorrow you go to the night doctor. I'll tell him. Thank you. Oh my God. I fell down. I see. You didn't break anything, did you? Give me your arm. Give me your arm around me. Oh my God. Why did you get so drunk? You don't look like yourself. What is it? That it's me. You're not my husband to control me. What are you wasting your time for? It's only at 25 it seems to be a lot. In fact it's not so, believe me. You can be so tedious, relax. It's about you now, who are you with? With friends. Were there men there? Who, who? Are you wearing pants? Maybe. That's not funny. I urge you never to do it again, promise me. I promise. Wait. I'm going to wash your knees, Zana, Zana. Can you believe it, Dasha? I'm starting to get fat. Come on. I don't fit into anything, but I want to look nice. The deal is today? Yes. It's probably already arrived. Are you excited? I am. I'm shaking all over. Maybe can I not go? You should go. You'll regret it later. I would go. That's easy for you to advise. What is she like? How will she accept me? Maybe she will tell me to go away. That's her problem. You have a worldly mother, Vera. That's right. Okay, Dasha. I'm going to go pack. Please, here is a standard contract. I have already entered the passport data. Read carefully so that there are no claims. If you have any questions, please ask. Tomorrow, Vasilevna. The buyer is Milana Levchuk. Tomorrow, Vasilevna. Is something wrong? It's me.
Господи. Девочка, мой гад. My girl, you were born, and I am alone with you. I was, what, 18 years old, still a child myself. Vesely was always on the road. He was always short of money. We lived in a rented house, and then he was helping out all the time. I was tired from morning till night. He was angry. And he probably regretted that he had left his family. And he took it out on me. Do you mind if I spill everything on you? Tell me. You know, I knew that sooner or later Vasily would come back to the family. And I had to think about how to live my life, me and my baby. You. I saw that a cruise liner was recruiting waitresses. So I wrote to them in despair and attached my photo. Imagine, they wrote back. And then what happened? Then I spent a year on a contract on a liner. I saw how people live. I was a different person. Not Tonka, the waitress from the cafe. I kept writing to Vasily, asking him how you were. I wish he would answer me. I called from every port in the world and wanted to pick you up. He picked up the phone once that he wouldn't give my daughter back and that I had no rights over you. He registered you with his wife. So I was left alone in a foreign country without a family. Well, I survived all right. Are you judging me? Are you cold? I'm cold myself. I can't get used to this climate. And I'm hungry. Are there any restaurants here? Yes, of course. So let's go to the nice one. We have something to celebrate. Let's go. Let me help you. Do you have children? No, not except for you. You're my only child. I haven't decided to have another one yet. Maybe I'll make up my mind. My age allows me. You look great. You don't look 40 years old at all. Well, thank you. I'm working on it. Listen, stop talking about me. I want to know everything about you. Where do you work? Are you studying? I dance in a strip club. You're not excited. You didn't know that. Well, it's hard to surprise me. How do you like it? Yes. Well, that's right. You shouldn't waste your life on something that doesn't give you pleasure. Cool. What's so cool? My mom, Vera Ivanovna, has a different opinion. She's been driving me crazy. Everything here is different than I remember. And the house once seemed so big, but now... I've never been in the house. Vasily didn't let me in. But everything happens in life. Shall we go?
Vera, are you awake? It's me, Jeep. Milka must have brought someone for the night. No, no, not a man. Some young woman with a big bag. They were talking about Bosca. Remembering something, a relative of some kind. I don't understand. Really? Mom, I heard the call. Is everything okay? She found her. Milka, her bitch of a mother? And grafted into my house. Mummy. You're the best. And Milka loves you very much. She does. Listen, she met Tamara, so what? They'll talk. It's no big deal. You know, moussaka has as many recipes as borscht. Each family has its own. I like that there would be more lamb, juicy tomatoes, and of course eggplant. Oh, I want it. My mouth is watering. Let your drills wait another hour or so. You know, you came up with a great scheme with those, to get me out here. With the house? Yeah. You're not offended? No. I probably would have done the same thing, borrow money from somebody. It wasn't much. I danced in a club for a reason, here's something. <laughs> Are you kidding? My aunt used to keep money like this. And you didn't go to the bank. I don't trust them. We're not in Greece with you. Wait, what do you have, real diamonds? Not bad for a 19-year-old. Did the man give it to you? Well... No. Andrew, I'm pregnant from him. Is it that bad? He's got a wife. Ring any bells? Are you going to give birth? I don't know. My mother says I have two. Come on, mother. Who does? Lesson one. Do only what you need to do, remember. You can't take care of yourself. No one will, proven by life. Why are you so sad? No. You were unlucky with your man, but thanks to him for the earrings. Can I try them on? Yes. Here you go. How about that? Does it suit me? Yes. Here you go. Who's that over there? Well, hello, daughter. Why did you come? I'm fine. Hello, Vera. I guess it's time for us to meet you. Are you hungry? I'm cooking with my daughter. Forgive me. I was young, silly. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't want to take Vasily out of the family. I shed so many tears because of you. And me because of you. Why remember the past? No reason. But as they say, 
There was no happiness, but happiness did not help. There is a daughter who has grown, and I cannot look at and cannot fall in love. Thank you, Vera. Didn't you know Tamara wanted to take me? My father wouldn't let me, so he signed you up. I didn't know that. How long will you stay with us? Don't worry for long. I can't afford to be idle for long. I'm in business. Your rose don't just fall from the sky. Let's get Milaka's passport and we'll go away. Or do you have one? Wait, what do you mean leave? What do you mean leave? Well, I'm going to take my daughter with me. This time for sure. What's she going to do here? What prospects does she have here? And with such youth and beauty, the whole world will be at her feet. And I will take care of it. Mila, what is this woman saying? How, where shall you go? Tamara has a house in Greece, cars, swimming pools. Well, the thing is that I'm not the last person in a large international company, which organizes crises around the world, Caribbean, Seychelles, the Mediterranean. These are the big floating hotels where millionaires vacation. Really? Whoa. In general, my daughter, I'll take you on one trip. On the other, you'll see the world. You'll talk to people. And then some millionaire will come along. You're a beauty. By the way, how is your English? Very good. Mila, no. The thing is, she's pregnant. Mila, think about it. Vera, that's my problem now. It's what I dreamed of. I'll go. Yeah. Beloved children, are you really going to take me with you? Or did you just say that to piss her off? Why piss her off? She's the kind of daughter she raised me. So are we really going? How much does it cost to get a passport here? If it's urgent, a week or ten days. Well, time is money. Mommy, I love you. I love you too. My good one, God. You called me mom. No one has ever called me that. Maybe that's what happiness is all about. Are you in pain? No. Are you going to come every day now to get a massage? Why do you mind? No, I'm for it. When can I sit? When you can walk for two hours without pain, then you can sit. So going to the cinema is not going to happen soon. Walking for two hours sounds like a fairy tale. Nothing fabulous, just massage and physical therapy. Do you exercise? Don't you get lazy? At first I didn't want anything at all. I was so apathetic. Yeah. And then at night I saw my grandmother crying and praying for her sake. For my children's sake. Do you have children? Yes, 12. What? 
I run an inclusive theater studio for special children, and we have them in a wheelchair to more with Down syndrome. Misha is hard of hearing and there's a lot of normal kids. You know, they play the parts so real. It's very cool, we even sew our own costumes. So I have no time to go to the movies. Yeah, I didn't think a girl of 20 could have such interest. We're done now. And will you come again? Well, before we go, we'll do some exercises. I'm sorry I said so much. Maybe you'll run away. Come on, Nestia, I won't run away. Let me put you on the bed. My mascara is smeared. No, it's fine. I want at least 15 minutes to snooze. I will not drink tea. Do not wake me up, Yuri Petrovich. Good evening, Larisa Vasilevna. Yes. It's been a long time. You're not hiding from me anymore? Me from you? No, you're not. What makes you think that? There's no awkwardness between us. There is no awkwardness whatsoever. Look, I never ask a man to kiss me. Okay, clarified. Are you free tomorrow morning? For what? Well, I helped you. Now I need your help. Service for a favor? Sort of. Of course. The area is beautiful, fresh repairs, made for yourself. Infrastructure is good near stores, school garden. Here is the kitchen. Tell me, how about this furniture? The seller leaves all the furniture and appliances, so you know, just move in and live in. How fast? We do the deal and you'll get the keys. Please give me time to look around and think. Yes, of course, look, think. That's a plus for me. I have no time to deal with repairs and I can take my daughter right away. Sonia now lives with my mother-in-law. The option seems like a good expensive, of course, I need a practical woman's view. What do you say? Well, I will say here the layout is good. Look how bright, right? The view from the window is great. There is a playground. I think there is no problem with the pipes here. I have a breakthrough every winter. And here, will you be picking up the furniture? I don't know. I hadn't really thought about it. Do you like it? The furniture is nice. Yes. M.M. Hum. And let's see the nursery. Is there a nursery here? Tell me. Is there a nursery here? Yeah, sure, down the hall to the left. Thank you. I only have one daughter, but that's okay. Do you want to have another child? I was actually referring to the number of rooms in this apartment. But one more child is also an option. And how old is your girl? Almost seven. Sonia was born in Libya. Rita and I were working there at the time. Doctors Without Borders. Rita got pregnant there and she gave birth there. But there was a cool shooting, explosions, lots of wounded and maimed war in general. I decided to send my family home. And on the way, a car was hit by gunfire. I was shell-shocked. I woke up in prison. I knew nothing about my family for several months until I was informed. Rita was killed. 
Sonia survived by some miracle, and then our ambassador sent her home to her mother-in-law. I'm sorry, really. Tell me, how did you get back home? They didn't let me out of prison. There wasn't enough doctors. I had to work. So I worked for a while until they started bringing half-dead patients to our hospital after interrogations and torture, asking us to patch them up and take them away again. I refused to work and they took me back to jail. All in all, it was about two years. When I came back, Sonia did not remember me and I could not work after that. I would have drank. So maybe I would have drunk, if a friend. The one about whom you said is Shaggy Paul. Good man. I saved his life, he remembered. You'll excuse me, but I have a different view. It's okay. It's just that you have an end apartment and the repairs are not very good, but in principle you can bargain. This is a substantive conversation. Valentin Grigoryevich, I was just about to call you. Why? Well, first of all, the article came out. May I? Well... Congratulations to Zana. Do you think I don't understand that you wrote this article? What do you mean? How many years I've known you. You decided to make a big scientist out of your mistress. Create a name for her in the scientific world. How many times has she been on the expedition? One or two. Anything else? Yes, and you will not like it. The Italians studied the article on which it is based and decided that the main speaker from us at the conference. They seek Lady Sheva, and your presence is not necessary. How so? You're not going, Volia, for the first time in 20 years. You're not going. Make way for the young. And be thankful for your own stupidity. You're going to the conference alone. Well, yeah. Maybe they are saving the budget. Maybe they are in crisis too. get upset. You hear me? I think you should recuse yourself. Excuse me? This has gone too far. You're going to go to the director right now and tell him you're not going. Pick any reason you want. I'm sorry. But I won't do it. It won't add anything to your life, but it's a big step forward in mine. Misha reproached me for making a big scientist out of you. Tell me, are you sleeping with me because of that? So that's what you think of me. I love you, remember? Mom, what's happened? How is it possible? I can't understand. Why? She's talking about Mila. How can you see someone once and go away? Where? Why? Was she unhappy here? Son, talk to Milaka. Maybe she will listen to you. You were inseparable in childhood. Mom, come on. What kind of childhood? Well, we have to do something. The girl will be lost. She doesn't want to listen to me, do you understand? She talks to me like a stranger. Mum, 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 don't get yourself all worked up. Let's have some valerian, shall we? I don't want to. That's it. Son. All right, all right. I'll go talk to her. Thank you, son. I paid for everything urgently. They said it would be on the 20th no sooner. What can we do? 
At least we will have time to take care of some things. What kind of things? About the house? Well, that's for sure. How about punishing one animal? Don't you want to talk to Andrew? No, last time was enough for me. Listen, I won't let some jerk treat my daughter like that. Mom, come on. What can you do? Mom is smart. Mom can do many things. Show me the way. Come on, come on. Is that Sim? Yeah. A greedy philanderer. I get it. But I still love him. That's men which breaks our hearts. He's leaving if you wanted him to. Let him go. We don't need him. Let's go. Who do you want? I'm Mila. I'm the one who scored your lip gloss and earring. If you came for your crap junk, it's not here. I'm pregnant. From your husband, 12 weeks already. You can see the certificate. And what were you hoping for? Don't be rude. Why did you have to kill an innocent person? Andrew will never go to you, remember that. I'm not sure about that. You forgave him, but he ran back to his daughter. He can't live without her. I don't believe it. Then he will still live in two families. Of course you can divorce him, but it seems like you have a child yourself. Why did you come to tell me this happy news? Just living with another man's husband is no fun. So I had the opportunity to take my daughter abroad, far away. And no money. I see. What do you understand? If she stays here and has a baby, you will put up with each other. She will put up with you. And every time your husband will leave you, you will be climbing the walls, wondering if he went to Milenka. Well, you tried. Is that enough? I won't give any more. And just try not to leave. And God forbid you again ask for money or my family. I will destroy you, got it? Get out, both of you. Goodbye. Whoa. Take your time. Come on in. Oh, hey. Hi. Hi. What are we celebrating? Are you allowed to drink at all? I can, if it's not too much. This is Kostya, my brother. He looks just like Vasily. Hello, relative. I'm Tamara. Can you let me in? Yes, come in. I left the club. 
Oh, it's a shame. It was such a cool place, good pay. Did you find something better? Well, I got private orders, plus I got a part-time job at the ambulance hospital. What's that for? Well, for a girl. Because of that one, she's still in the hospital. Yeah, her name is Nastia. So you like her? She's strong, she's beautiful. I'm just a rehabilitator. And it sounds like love. What about Christina? You haven't made up? No, it's over with her. I don't even know how I lived with her for a year. Mila, ah. Uh, don't worry. I will find a job. I'll write you an email. You'll come and we'll tear Greece apart. Mom is crying at home. She asked me to talk to you. Here we go. I told you that I'll go. I'm already getting my passport. She won't talk me into it, neither will you. I'm not trying to talk you into it. Just Mila, have you thought about it? Bone, what's there to think about? Okay, mom, show him the pictures. Come on. Now you'll see how to live. Look. Look how cool it is. Yes, it's beautiful. It's not like this ruin. You will also have a house with a swimming pool and a yacht. A private jet. Yes, and Milka will ride a white cruise liner in the Caribbean Sea. And you will envy me. We will. Millie, but please promise me if something goes wrong, you call me and I will come right away. And what can go wrong? Milana. Milana is not going alone. She's going with her mother, so don't worry. Mom asked me if you don't change your mind to give it to you. As a memory of home. She's in her repertoire. What the hell do I need it for? She seriously thinks that I will drag myself through half of Europe with this stuff. Whatever. Kostia. Hello, I'm listening. Hello, Larisa Vasilevna. Is it too late? No, it's fine. You can congratulate me. Today, I signed the contract and even already took the keys. That's very good news, Yuri Petrovich. I'm happy for you. Thank you for your help with the choice. I want to invite all of us on Saturday at the housewarming party. Good idea, right? Could you come a little earlier to help with the preparations? I'll buy the food, but you can set it up. Well, what would you like? Maybe sacks in China or family silver? That's right. What don't you have? Volya, help me, can't you see? Have you changed your mind? It's not too late. You and I have already discussed everything. Can we stop returning to the same topic? I'll be there in a week. Let's go. I don't want to be late to the airport. Wait. Marry me? Aren't you happy? Isn't this what you wanted? Of course it is. Why in such a hurry? You can marry me, don't go to Italy, and give up your career. You say you love me unselfishly. Are you serious? For your sake I got divorced and turned my life upside down, and I expect the same from you. 
Valya, you don't know what you're saying. Let me come here and we'll discuss it with you. What is there to discuss, yes or no? Of course we do. You have no idea how happy I am. Yes. I'm relieved. Yes, you understand that I have to go anyway, otherwise it won't be nice. If you leave now, we're done. Valya, stop being ridiculous. I love you, and you won't even miss me. Don't say goodbye. Hello. Hello. You weren't expecting. No, why? I'm waiting for you. Here. It smells delicious. I hope it tastes good. I'm going in. Yes, of course, come in. Don't touch it yet. I'm just going to try. And what? It seems to be too salty. Really? Yes, you're not in love by any chance, Larisa Vasilevna. Isn't it you, Yuri Petrovich? Why not? I would very much like to continue. But it seems that mine have come. And I thought you'd be here before Zoe Fyodorovna. Seneca got held up at music school. Good thing there's only one stop. How's the pianist doing? Good. And you? Me too. Daddy, do you have a present for me? Of course. How could I not? Are you expecting many guests? Colleagues from work. Oh, you have a beautiful apartment. Very beautiful. Yeah, I like it too. Dad, you promised me a present. You have a whole room of presents. I'm going to have a whole room. Let me show you. Is it all for me? Of course, and who else? How much does it all cost? You're out. Why are you spoiling the kid? It's my pleasure. Look, I've thought of everything. Do you want to take Soneka here? It's about time, as long as your daughter can live with you. And I won't give her up. Sonia, play a little. Fyodorovna Sonia is my daughter. She'll live with me. Yuraka, you can't raise a child. You don't know what to do with her, how to deal with her. I'll manage. I love her. I'll do anything for her. Soe Fyodorovna, I'm grateful to you for everything. Hello. Now I understand how you're going to cope. I hope it's a colleague. Meet my colleague Larissa Vasilevna. Soe Fedorovna. I understood everything for whom you bought the apartment. Only my Ritika wasn't worthy of that apartment, right? You kept her going to Africa and she died because of you. And you, my dear, 
You have a great job, a promising man, an apartment, a car. I understood everything very well. But it's not going to be your happiness. It's not fair. Yuri Petrovich, I'll go. No, Larisa Vasilevna, you stay. So a Fyodorovna will go. What? Hi. Hi, are you Sonia? I'm Larissa. Have you seen my room? Not yet, but if you show me, I'd love to see it. No, no, we're leaving, Sonia. We're leaving right now. Sonia, if you want to, you can stay. Well, Grandma, I like it here. He has other guests here. Get dressed quickly. So if Fyodor will not leave the child, Sonia. And don't think, we won't stay here for a minute. Sonia, come here. Quickly get your jacket. Let's go, let's go. Yuri Petrovich, you have such a good girl. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. I feel guilty. No, it has nothing to do with you. That woman never liked me. You weren't expecting us. You weren't expecting us. Yuri Petrovich. Happy house warming. Congratulations. Happiness to your home. Hi, Larka. Are you here yet? Yes. We just chased the cat around the market for half a day, so I hope you haven't all eaten and drunk without us. I don't think so. Get undressed, put your clothes wherever you see them, and go through. I'll find out whose cat idea it was, we'll settle out. Goodbye. Thank you. Larissa Vasilievna, can I talk to you for a minute? Wait. Been wanting to do this all night. Stay till morning. I think I owe you breakfast. Are the circumstances the right ones? It couldn't be better. Yes. There's actually a whole week's worth of food left. Is that a hint or a suggestion? That? I'm really glad you came into my life. Let me get it. Let me get it. He won't let go. He's called five times. What do you want? Lara, I'm having a seizure. It hurts like hell. But you know what to take. Let's buy it for you. Why are you calling me? 
Zana is in Italy. I literally can't breathe. My eyes are swimming. Are you going to help me or am I going to die here? Is it hard for you to come down? Are you under my house? At ours. But I'm not there. Where? Jesus. It's 12 o'clock at night. I've calculated, you should be home by now, not your shift. Well, try to lie down on something flat, like a bench and relax your stomach, I'm going. I'm coming with you. Here it is. Volia, Volia. At last. We stopped at the pharmacy. I bought some medicine for you on the way. Please take it under your tongue. What's this one for? Drink it. It'll make you feel better. The Chronicle has played out. I don't think it's unreasonable. Did you eat something? It's none of your business. You're like a little child, come on. Listen, you chronicler, you couldn't be unaware of the consequences. Did you eat some nasty stuff on purpose to get Larissa to come? Who is he? Get him away from me. I feel sick. And why are you near her house? Why didn't you call an ambulance? You were with him. So the acute pain is gone. Now the cold, the hunger and the peace. Can you hear me cold and hunger and peace? Come up sick will take you. I didn't let the cab go. Careful. He's in pain. Go to the couch. And if it bothers you tomorrow, call the neighborhood doctor. Thank you. I don't know the phone number. Well, you'll find out. I'll get some ice. You're right. That's how I wanted to see you. I am very unhappy, Lara. I am very lonely. I was so wrong. It was some kind of obsession, senseless. Ridiculous. You wanted me to feel sorry for you, is that why you called me? I have no one to talk to, you are my closest and dearest person. Valya, I'm not your closest and dearest person. They are waiting for me there, so please try to go to sleep and rest, and don't bother me anymore, okay? You cheer us up, Nastia. Everything goes on without complications. We'll try to get up. Really? The first time with Konstantin Basilievich, of course. I'm in. Well, because you can feel weakness in the legs, dizziness, even fainting. 
I understand, but when can I go home? We're boring you, Nastia. Don't listen to her. We'll stay here as long as it takes. That's what I wanted to talk about. Yes. The rehabilitation period can be done at home. The acute period is over. Now the main thing is time and work. If Constantine will do it. Of course, we'll all do it right. Thank you. Yes, that's what we agreed, especially since the room is for a fee. Why do you need to spend extra money? Wait, how is the room for a free? I thought that Larissa doctors up so far arranged it that way. So that's it, then. Listen, I don't understand anything about the ward. Don't worry, you better get Nasty's high heeled shoes ready. So soon? So soon, let me help you up, careful, okay. <gasps> Are you standing? Should I call my mother and warn her, or let her stay awake? Let her worry. Mom, I'm so used to reporting. How was the housewarming? Oh, why do I ask? It was fine. It would have been even better if it wasn't for your ex-son-in-law. We had to pump him out. And he was constantly complaining about his bitter fate. Why did he quarrel with his beautiful wife? I do not know. I did not ask. But honestly, I am not interested. The fridge in the house is empty. A mess. I do not know how he manages it all with his demands. Mom, but I'm not interested at all. Well, thank God. I'm going to sleep. Go on, go on, get some rest. Loraka, go on, go on, child, get some rest. Valya. This is Vera Ivanovna, if you still remember. Glad to hear from you. Loraka said you were sick. Maybe you should make some porridge or a steamed cutlet. That wouldn't be bad. Why doesn't yours feed you? What can I tell you, Vera Ivanovna? Just say that you are a fool, Valya. And I told you, I warned you, but who's going to listen to his mother-in-law? It's too late to shed a tear. And I'm honestly happy about it. Hello. So, come on. Here we are at home. Don't rush, don't rush. Are you tired? Yeah. It's nothing out of habit. You and I will build up the pace, we'll increase the workload. Okay, come on, quiet. One, two, you're going for a walk as well. Going for a walk, sounds like a fairy tale. Kostya, will you join us for lunch? You're not leaving yet, are you? There's still half an hour. Can you help me up? Yes, come on.
You probably shouldn't say that. Tell me, now that you've started. I'm even glad it happened to me. Otherwise, you and I would have never met. Sorry, I promised the patient I'd come earlier, sorry. Did I say something wrong? No, no, it's not you, it's just that I promised to come earlier. Kostya, what about lunch? Sorry, I have to run, bye, have a good day. Bye. Good luck. <sighs> Granny. I fell in love. And now it seems I've ruined everything. Do you think he will come again? He will. Beloved children. I like that dress. Do you think it would suit me? Of course, with your figure. Can we go back and buy it? Let's buy everything in Greece. Why overpay here? There's a lot of markup here. Okay. Look how the city has changed. This building didn't exist. This one did. Where are you going? Did you see that at all? Another idiot is racing. Christina has the same car. Who's Christina? Kostya's ex. Remember he told you about her? And how did she get that car? Golden youth. Her father is some kind of a big shot. So she's got her whole life in the palm of her hand. She had a car, brand name stuff and an apartment in a luxury house, but she was a real piece of work. One day Caustic brought her to our house. She got drunk and told her mother Vera everything she knew, that Larka's husband had a mistress, about my striptease, about Kostia. She almost drove Mama Vera crazy. What a bitch. Yeah. I'd like to see her when she finds out Kostia's with someone else. So what's the problem? Let's go see. Hi. Hi. Long time no see. Why are you here? I'm going abroad to say goodbye or are you busy? Come on. You're going abroad. That's right. There's nothing to catch here. There's plenty of freaks. Yes. Would you like a drink? No, thanks. I don't mind. It's beautiful here. Yes. How's Kostia? It's okay, don't you guys talk. So you don't know anything. Kostia has a new girl, her name is Nastia. She's the one, you know. That's the one, do I know her? She is from the hospital. Kostia got a job at the hospital. He helps her, he is such a knight. I did not expect it. I think she really touched him. She really touched his heart. I've never seen him so happy in love. Mila, why the fuck are you telling me all this? Well, how? You asked? Why? And you have not forgotten Kostya yet. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I thought that everything was okay with you. Bon. 
get out, get out. Why are you so rude? We were talking normally. Get out. Let's go, Milat. Your friend is so rude. Both of you, out. Have a nice day. Did you at least enjoy yourself? She had such a face. I thought she was going to throw the bottle at me. I'm looking for Konstantin Levchuk. I think he works for you, do you know him? Konstantin Levchuk is not here yet. He should be here soon. And the girl Nastia. I do not remember her surname. She was run over by a car in which room is she in? She was discharged. Nastia is already at home. It's a shame. It's not that you were discharged. It's that you didn't see her. Do you have her address? What? I want to help with the money. Do you mind? Thanks. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're rescuing an invalid from the afterlife, aren't you? Are you out of your fucking mind? Shut your mouth. Fuck you. Calm down. You bastard. I did everything for you. And you, who did you trade me for? Couldn't you find someone worse? How many times must I tell you to leave me alone? Kostia, Kostia. I tried to forget you, you hear? I tried, but I love you, Kostia, let's get out of here. Christina, how can I get it into your drunken brain that I don't need you? Jerk. Where are you going? Give me the keys. I'll give them to you when you sober up. Give me the keys, Kostia, give me the keys. I told you give me the keys. Take the girl to Perugov Street. You fucking lifeguard. Stop drinking. Kiragava is cancelled. Come here. I'll pay for it. It's not here, is it?
Are you waiting for someone? I need to go there, but it's closed. Are you here to see Nastenka? Well, sort of, yes. Are you from our university? <laughs> she also goes to university. Girl, you're drunk. Who are you? And you? I'm Nastya's grandmother. And I have a question to discuss with your granddaughter. To discuss? Well, talk. No, I won't let you in the apartment like that. Okay. And Konstantin Vasilievich Levchuk, do you know him? Yes, Kostya is a very good guy. Good. Good. So he didn't tell you anything? About what? He didn't have the guts. He's the one who hit your Nastia. I don't believe you. Grandma, is that you? I am who else? Grandma, give me the crutches, please. Someone came. I reached out and they fell down. I can't get used to them. Kostya will come and will train, Grandma. What's wrong with you? I'm tired. I'm going to rest. Honey, I'm home. Why didn't you meet me? I'm sick. The Tuscan, it is delicious. Zana, I can't. I'm sorry, I forgot. That's right, Valya. It all flew by so fast. I didn't even have time to go shopping, but what a success I had there. How my report was accepted, just on fire. So many meetings, and I also have some unbelievable news. I was invited to a year-long internship in Rome. What about me? And what is a year with modern means of communication? It's nothing. I would also like to have time to defend myself in the near future. Do you think we can do it in three months? Don't you miss it? I miss you a lot. I told you I was sick and I was on sick leave. I had a seizure. What difference does it make to you? You're in charge. I care. Close your eyes. That's it. Nice blanket. Lara always knew my size. Hi. Are you upset about something? The same, I talked to my mother-in-law yesterday. She doesn't want to give Sonia away. Well, you can understand her. She raised Sonia for so many years. And now you want to take away her dearest things. What should I do? Take away my own child by force or through a court? My mother-in-law doesn't hear me and never has. I understand. And after Reed is death, 
she stopped paying attention to me. Good morning. Have a seat. I'll feed you breakfast. You made me breakfast. That's something new. Well, I'm trying. You're mad about the attack, aren't you? I'm not mad. Well, then eat, get your strength back, and we'll go to work. Misha is probably already there. Talk to him about speeding up my defense, and we'll go to the registry office to file an application. You won't get away with it. Okay. We'll go apply, but you're not going to any internship. I'm not going to Misha, and you refuse to defend me. That's how and what do you want me to do? You'll just be my wife. Cook breakfast, prove that you love me and don't need anything else. You know, this is out of line. I won't do your stupid demands. That's what I thought. Where are you going? I'm leaving, Zana, what an idiot I've been. You can't. All your words are lies, your actions prove it. So that's your decision. And you know what, Valentin Grigorievic, go away. I'll get a degree without you. I'll go to the West and build a career there. That's what I want. And you stay here and cover yourself with dust. It's a great pleasure to hear about your pancreatitis, diets, pills. I'm sick of it, as is sex with you, if you can call it that. Zoya Fedorovna, hello. Hello. Colleague, what can I do for you? Yuri Petrovich is worried that you are against moving Sonika. I can understand that, but you should also understand him. He is a good man, he is a very good man. He could really give a lot to the girl. You know, I have no one else in my life. Why don't you give him a child? and leave Sonia to me? Zoya Fyodorovna, I understand you, but conversation is not about me now. You should understand, Yuri Petrovich is not taking the girl to another city or another country. He is not going to forbid you to see the girl. Moreover, I think he will be happy if you agree to help him. Think, Zoya Fyodorovna, think, really. Grandma, I've been praised today. Really? Come on, let's go home. Nastya, you've been on your feet so long. Lie down and rest. Grandma, do you think Kostya will like the dress? What kind of party is this? Just Kostya and me? The guys will come tomorrow. Today it's just Kostya. Young man, are you looking for someone? Yes, hello. Hello. And Nastia Mornova's request. Nastia, yes, yes, I know. Just a minute. Congratulations to Nastia from all of us. She is a wonderful person. Let her recover soon. The children are waiting for her. We are all waiting for her very much. Yes, of course I will. Give her this too. I think she'll be pleased. Yes, okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Open it. 
Make a wish well. Do you think it will come true? Of course it will. It will come true. That's not all. And what else? I don't know. Let's see. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. My dears. Grandma, look. This is Dania. He's very talented. And this blonde one is Tanya. She plays the main roles. It's so late. Nastya needs to rest. Well, I'm not tired yet. If you're not tired, let's go for a walk. Come on. How many times I've walked here I never noticed how beautiful it is. Maybe it's because I'm with you. The most beautiful thing here is you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Maria Ignatyevna, I can't be here until 8 tomorrow. I'll work. You bastard. I know it was you who hit Nastya. But how can you come to kiss her? Hug her. She loves you, believes you. Do you have a heart? You won't believe it, but I do. I will tell her everything tomorrow. I've been meaning to for a long time. Don't you dare. I don't know how she'll get over it. You'll lie to her that you left. Or whatever. It doesn't matter, as long as she forgets you. Understand, I love her. Get out. Christina, if you pry into my personal life one more time, I'll kill you, okay? I'm done talking. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, cheesecakes. I love. And tea? Do you have a new watch? This one? No. The old one was in my bag. It looks cool. I've seen it somewhere. Where? In commercials. Of course. Where else? They are sold in Greece at every step. You go ahead and eat. You have to get your passport. And you're going to get a ticket, right? Yes. Look, Mila, I've been putting this off for a long time, but I can't put it off any longer. What have you decided to do about the pregnancy? Well, it's too late for an abortion at 12 weeks. Please. 
Everything that can't be solved for money can be solved for a lot of money. I don't know, Mom. What do you recommend? I would clean. Think about it, you are 19, you haven't seen life yet, you will have another baby from your husband. Even with my connections, it will be harder for you to get a job. In the West, everyone gives birth after 30 to 40 years, when a person is already established. It's good that you're so advanced. I had one conversation with Mum Vera give birth and that's it. What role do we remember? Do what's best for you. That's why I'm going to arrange for your abortion because in Greece it will be more expensive and there will be more problems and you go get your passport. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Grandma, what are those bags? Oh, they're your things. Daddy's coming to pick you up in the car. Really? Yes. You'll stay with him, but if you don't like it, I'll like it, Grandma Hora. Don't cry, Grandma. You'll come and visit me. Daddy, I'm coming to see you. Grandma said I could. My dear, Soy Fedorovna, why did you carry the heavy things? I could have come to pick up my things. Come again. I hope it's not the last time we see each other. I'm very grateful to you. Rita would be glad that we resolve everything peacefully. Say goodbye to Grandma. Bye, Grandma. My darling. There's an aunt sitting in daddy's car, don't be friends with her. She wants you to kill your mother, she's a bad aunt. Understand, run away. Hi, Sonia, I'm Larissa. I don't know about you, I missed you already. And look what I've got. Sonia, look, do you want to see what's inside? Well, I'm already interested. I'm not. Sonia, that's not a nice thing to say. It's not nice. Give me your hand. Sonia, I really want you and and Louisa to become friends. Just give her time. Hello? Hi, Mom. Yes, Milaka. Hello, daughter. I'm leaving tomorrow. Call you to say goodbye. You haven't changed your mind. Have you leaving? Yeah. I just got my passport. Don't worry about it. I will be very, very good. Your daughter's gonna be a millionaire. You'll see. I'll buy you a house. I don't need that. I need that. Well, that's not what makes you happy, honey. That and only that. Mom, your views are outdated. I'm sorry. Mom, your views are outdated. I'm sorry. Let's not fight, okay? I'll get settled. I'll text you. Yeah, yeah. And there's no need to cry. Just be happy for me. I rejoice, Mila. I rejoice. Bye. Bye.
Well? Mila, Mila is leaving after all. That's not bad, Mum. I'm worried. I want my children to be well. That's a problem. Did something happen? Maria Ignatieva found out it was me who hit Nastia. How did she find out? Who told her? Who? Christina, of course. God, she hates us. The subscriber is temporarily unavailable. Hello, hello. My mom has an appointment for an abortion at 2 in the afternoon. Can you tell me where to go? She's just late. And what's your last name? Milana Levchuk. You're not in the records. Well, it's probably not official. Officially, not officially. I don't know anything about it, but are you sure there was an agreement? Yes. Is Vera Ivanovna Levchuk related to you? No, no, thanks. The subscriber is temporarily unavailable. What the hell? Yeah, what do you want? Milka, you stole my watch. Did she give it back? What watch are you talking about? There was nobody in the house but you and your fucking friend. So what? The watch is worth 3,000 bucks. If you don't give it back, I'll report it to the police. Listen, go to sleep. I don't have a watch. What a bitch. I didn't dance at the club for nothing, did I? Are those real diamonds you have? No. Yes. Oh, shit. Hello, could you tell me if Tamara Nazarova, who was selling a house the other day, was with you today? Hello, yes. She signed the document this morning and sold the house. I bargained with a neighbor for half the price, but there's plenty of land there. Where is she now? Why are you shouting? Well, she was in a hurry to the airport. She had a plane to catch. You should have thought of that earlier. You turned down the deal yourself. Shit. This is my boat. Really? Penthouse. Lesson one, do only what's right for you. Don't waste your life on things you don't enjoy. Daughter, I will take you on one trip. On the other, you'll see the world, talk to people, and then you'll find a millionaire. Mommy, I love you. Need help? Professionals work. I love to cook. Not always, of course, when I am in the mood. Especially in good company, like you and me and Sonia. 
Isn't it a wonderful evening? Wonderful evening. Sonia, come to the table. Everything is ready. Sonia, you're so lucky to have your daddy. He's so wonderful. Larissa Vasilevna, don't overdo it. Or she'll think you're crazy about me. I'm crazy about you. It's about to get cold. God, there are the candles too. Getting ready to make an impression. You succeeded. Sonia, what are you standing there for? Sit down. I'm not hungry. Sonia, don't make this up. Sit down. You're hungry. Sit down. Have you ever eaten pasta? It's very tasty. Taste yourself. I want cutlets. Grandma makes cutlets. Okay. Let me make cutlets tomorrow with mashed potatoes. And today we won't upset daddy and eat this, right? And you can read a book tonight. I brought such a book about princesses. Really very beautiful. You love princesses. I saw it. Daddy can read to me. And you go away. Sonia, is that allowed? Apologize. No, it's okay. It's okay. We can go to the zoo the other day. They have very nice rides and you can eat ice cream. You like ice cream, don't you? Daddy, I'm going to go play with the cat. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm not offended at all, not offended at all. I just don't have any experience with children. You know what, let's do what she wants. I'll go now. No, wait, stop. You're not going anywhere, stay here. Sonia, she's just a little girl. She needs time to get used to it. I understand. I'm just going to go get my thoughts together and next time we'll... Let me at least call you a cab. I'll just take a walk, really. He's so funny. Yeah. Sonia, I honestly don't know what that was. But let's agree that that's the last time. You were not nice to Anne Larissa. She's nice. She is bad. I don't like her dad. Explain why. Sonia? Sonia. Your grandmother. Hello? Hello, honey. How was your day today? Larissa came by. I told her just like you taught me. And what did she say? She left. Am I good? Good girl, just remember that this is our secret. Valentin Grigoryevich, are you still here? I wanted to clean up. Tomorrow, Zakharovna. Why are you so late? A lot of work, do you see? Go away already. Oh, okay. Should I call him or not call him? Grandma, do you think it's too late to call Kostya? Maybe he'll think I'm imposing on him. But why would he? Grandma, right? Or should I call him? Grandma, Can you hear me? <coughs> Tell me what happened. Grandma, 
I'll find out anyway, do you hear, Grandma? Grandma. 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 Listen, Kostya. Maybe it's too late. Maybe Nastya has gone to bed. No, Mum, I've decided to tell you. Wait. So you must tell me. Yes, hello, I'm on my way to your place. What? Wait, I... Eva, come on. It's past your bedtime. Mom, just a little bit more. You have to listen your mommy. Let's race. Oh, I'll catch up with you. Nastia, Nastia, Nastia. Nastia, why is your door open? The ambulance just took my grandmother away. I go out, and she's lying there. Nastia. I say, Grandma. And she doesn't answer. <laughs> Nastia. Nastia. <laughs> Nastia. Yeah. I. You're strong. Everything will be all right. Hold on. Hold on, baby. Everything will be all right. Hold on. Beloved children. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Do you love me? I do. Don't laugh, okay? Okay. Okay, what? I want to marry you. And we'll always be together. I'll make breakfast.
Nem, it smells so good. Oh, you're just in time. Here's a nice appetite. Thank you. And what about you? I'm running away. I have a full day today, so I won't be back before 6 p.m. Well, I only have three classes today. Then I'm going to the theater to see my friends. By the way, we chose a fairy tale for the production. Ognevo, do you remember it? Yes, of course. Oh, man. But it's a pity we don't have decorations like in the theater, but it's okay. Our parents help us with the costumes and the guys are trying. I hope it works out. It'll be fine. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. How much do these pants cost? Well, the price is on the tag. There's a stain on it. Woman, this is a second hand. This is not a brand name boutique to you. It's clear. Will you buy them? No, I won't. Stay with your pants. Sayed, can I have a few minutes? Again, watch out for the goods, or you'll pay from your own, like last week. I really need to go to the toilet. You were there half an hour ago. How many times? I'm fed up with you, Mila. This belly, it's not work. Please don't fire me. I need the money, really. Who doesn't need it? Get to work. Sweetie, come eat. While it's hot, potatoes, sausages. Come on, get up. I don't want to. It's understandable in her position. Why don't you go home? You're my sweetheart. You're my Matilda. You're my good one. Oh, come on. You seem Milaka is doing well. Come on, come on. I'll feed you. Zakharovna, you'll clean it up in the morning. How many times do I have to tell you? Valentin, it's me, Michael. I'm listening. What's wrong? I came to see how you live here. What do you mean, live here? Is that what you eat? Do you eat instant noodles? Yes, not a bad thing. As it turns out, I got a lot of work late. So I'm having a snack. You think I don't know that you live here? You think it's normal? I don't. I remember how you urged me not to make the biggest mistake of my life. Not to leave Larissa. Why didn't I listen to you? I want her back, Misha. Do you think it's possible? I really hope so. I would give my life to make Larissa happy, just to make her forgive me. Well, try it. 
for Leah. But if you live in this office, it's unlikely you'll succeed. What the hell is that? I see you're surprised. Surprised is not the right word. What are you doing here? I left Zana. That's your problem. I made a mistake. Please. After all, this is my apartment too. I have a right to be here, until I get myself something suitable. Fine. I'll live in the study and try not to annoy you with my presence. And you're from the shift or... Or... This is a castle and this is a princess. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, yeah, Sonia, I have a very serious adult conversation for you. I want and Larissa to move in with us. Why? We will have more fun with her. She is a very good cook, you like her cooking, and secondly, you will have someone to confide in. Do you know how many secrets the girls have with each other? Do you want her to be my mom? No, no, Sonia, you have only one mom. No. But she lives in heaven now. Sonia, mom loves you very much. She wants you to be a big, cheerful, happy girl. I want it to, and Larissa wants it too. She'll help us, right? No, I'd rather go live with my grandmother. Sonia, I'm begging you, let's try, I'm sure you'll make friends with Larissa. I don't want to be friends with her, and you don't want to be friends with her, you only love your Larissa, you don't love me. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. You know what, let's draw your princess a carriage, does she have a carriage? No. No, let's draw it, what color will the carriage be? Orange. Orange, great, orange. Good evening. I made dinner. I didn't ask. At least try, I tried. And then what? Accept and forgive and pretend it never happened? I understand, not at once. But why not? Look. You won't get anywhere by settling here. You have a right to this apartment, but I don't want to be here with you, okay? Today, I will apply to the agency and we are going to sell the apartment and I will take the first available option. My grandmother taught me how to cook. She said it would come in handy in family life. Is it good? Yeah. I have to see when I can take the application to the registry office. Hand me the tablet. What are you reading? Another terrible accident. These buggers keep driving around town, maiming people and aren't even responsible for it. Okay, we have better things to do, registry office, office hours. It's me? What? 
Yeah. I ran you over. Yeah. I should have told you right away, but I couldn't. And then it all came to a head. Now I'm telling you because I don't want our life together to start with a lie. So the gifts and kisses are to make up for the guilt. Nastia, I wanted to make up for what I did. Do you think it can be fixed? No, and your grandmother won't come back. But I want you to walk and smile again. You did it. I've never met a girl like you. I'm afraid of losing you. I love you, Nastia. Go away. Nastia. Go away. I bought some apples. And I'm going to bake a pie. Come over tonight and we'll have some tea. Won't we, Vera? I couldn't wait for you to come back. I missed you so much. What's this? So a second hand. See how it was built while you were away. Oh, let's go buy a jacket. Let's go. I don't need anything here. You see how it is. Wow, that's really something. Okay, well, I'll go over there so the jackets are there. How much are they? Just a second, Mila. Milka. Where's this star? In the bathroom again. What are you doing in there? Are you sleeping in here? I'll wait and come out. Go in the hall, lazy bones. I can't go in there. Go, I said. I really can't. I'll kick you out. I'll kick you the hell out. Go to work. Lady Milka. Aren't you in Greece? Vera, Vera Milka is here. Your Mila is here. Milam. Milaka. My daughter. Milaka. Why? Why? Everything will be all right now. You're with me. You're with me, my darling. Oh, my God. You've lost so much weight. You're so thin. Enter. Hello. Are you here to see me? Yes, you're in charge of Nastia Monova's case, right? You don't remember me? We met at her hospital. Let's assume so. Well, it's me. I hit her I a road to purely heartfelt. Come on, Ryder. What now? We'll sort it out. What's to sort out? I wrote it. We will check what you wrote here, compare the facts. Maybe you incriminated yourself, Levchuk. Why did you want to go to jail? 
No. What should I do now? Go. We'll call you. Nastia, I don't want to be a witch. Well, honey, why? It's just a role, and it's interesting. Next time you'll play a princess, I promise, okay? And we will have a real underground passage? Well, not a real one, but we'll make one right. Yes. Guys, play for 10 minutes. What are you doing here? I went to the police and confessed everything. And what should I do? Should I put a medal on your chest? Why would you do that? Where should I put it? Bring it to the stage. What is it? Oh, we're going to have a real underground passage? There will be, there will be, don't interrupt. Yay. You want the scenery, don't you? Free chess, an underground passage, a kingdom? Yeah. I've read the story. Nastia, let me take you there. No, thank you. Good morning, Larissa Vasilevna. I remember this picture. Who should you forgive? I think Valentin. He's back. What have you decided? I decided that I have a man whom I love. That I do not have a normal family and I want a child. I have a year or two and that's it. I constantly try to talk to Sonia, but I'm sorry I can't yet. It takes time. I don't have time, you know. I'll call her now. Don't, please don't push her, don't push the girl. She doesn't like me. What can we do? I just do not have time to wait until she grows up and understands that there are her wishes and there is your right to happiness. God, what a dead end, what a dead end. Laura, we have an urgent call. I'm coming. Who let you in here? I let myself in. Listen, Professor, are you a man or what? What are you doing? Don't you have a place to stay? Do you need money for a hotel or a place to live? Go away and don't torment Larissa. I'm not going to discuss my personal life with you. I'm going to. You betrayed her once. You'll betray her again. Don't waste words. I want Larissa back and I will. She won't forgive you. We'll see. Good morning, let me help you. What are you doing there with that billboard? Why didn't you like it? All women love beautiful gestures. I just didn't know how else to get your attention. Please take it off. I know I have no excuse, but I beg your forgiveness, Lara. I made a terrible mistake. It's not interesting, let me pass. Do you want me to kneel down? I don't want to. I want to pass, just let me pass. You have a man and yet I see that something is not right between you. You do not look happy, Lara. It's none of your business, Valia.
talk to me, Ulara. Have you been here all this time? Lara, my girl. Give us a chance, please. We've both made mistakes, but it's not too late to go back. Tell me what you want, I'll do anything. I want a baby, Valya. How about it? Okay, I'll do it. You never wanted kids. Now I do, I do, Loraka. I want it all back. You, me, us, our life. Lara. Lara will probably come. It would be good if Kostya and Nastenka came, right? Is their relationship serious? Yes, come on. He's probably busy at work. I'll call Nastenka. Nastenka, hello. It's Vera Ivanovna. Come and visit us with Kostya. You'll meet Molochka and we'll have some family time. Won't we? Vera Ivanovna, my grandmother and I believed you. We thought you were a good, sincere person. And you don't call me anymore. I don't want to talk to you. Mom? Nastya knows about the accident. Give me the bags. Hello, have a seat. Wow, look. I made you some tea, your favorite mug. Green with no sugar, just the way you like it. See, I remember everything. We can make it work, Lara. You'll see. We can get it all back. The trust, the love. Us. Nastia. 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 We were really worried about you. And we wanted to help you. And Kostya was also worried about the situation. He has changed after it happened. Vera Ivanovna, he almost killed me. I'm not excusing him, Nastya, not in any way. Bad company, temptations. He could have gone downhill. And you saved him. He loves you very much, and if it means anything to you, try to forgive him. Listen to your heart. You have a very kind heart. Listen to it. Nastya. Nastya. It's all serious. A contract for two years in the Emirates. A work visa. The club pays a lot of money and other conditions, just Chicardos. I do not know how to get through the rest of the month. I envy you. I have one swamp here. Every day you eat, sleep, eat, sleep. Don't be a sorbus, but listen. Of course it would be cool if we could go on a trip together. When are you going to give birth? A month and a half. 
And then what? Or are you going to live with your mom? Here is the contact of the agency. It may come in handy. You just keep in shape, okay? Hello, Laura? Are you home? I'm fine. I need something. Can you look in my books for a reference book? It's an old one from before the war. It's a big black one. You'll see it right away. Uh huh. I see. And what do you want here? There's a reference list on the last pages. Open it. Did you find it? Laurel. Laura. Are you there, Laura? Hello. I urgently need a new defibrillator for my cardiac team. It's urgent. The old one is no good at all. Yes, try. When will a decision be made? When do I get a call back? I wrote it down. Have a good day. Tomorrow, Seneca will be at her mother-in-law's all day. It's your day off too. Let's go out. I missed you terribly. I'm quitting, Yuri. Did he make you quit? Did you go back to him? No, no, no. I'm going to my mother's. I'm going to stay there. I'm going to make a decision. Larissa, don't be silly. I love you. I love you too. Wait, 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 don't. We're not going to make it, all of us. Do you want us to buy you a new dress? Come on, what kind? I don't know. Let's ask and Larissa to come with us and help us. Let's ask Grandma, call her. Hi, Grandma. It's me. I'm fine, but the cat scratched me. Aren't you coming to pick me up tomorrow? Will buy me a new dress, like Dad promised. And Larissa, she no longer comes to us. I told her as you taught me, I am good. What did your grandmother teach you? Give me the phone. Play a field of now. What was the child told? No, I want to know. I'll find out anyway. Sonia, I'm listening to you very carefully. It was my grandmother's and my grandmother's secret. The stitches must be outside. Because babies have delicate skin so as not to chafe. 
And also I have covered the bonnets. Look how small they are so small. Mom, you can buy them all in the store. Yes, of course you can, but I made everything for you with my own hands, because the energy is very different. You know, it's good that we will have a girl. Are you glad? So am I. I'm going outside for some air. Go and get some air, and then when you come, lie down and maybe even sleep, because as they say, sleep, as long as you have a chance. A nice perspective. Hello. I am interested in working in the Emirates. Yes. I am a dancer. Yes. I have experience, and there will also be references. Tell me what about my girlfriend said that the flight will take place in a month, and if two months it is possible. Too late? I understand. Thank you. You really upset me, Sonia. Let's make a deal, you'll never hide anything from me again. But my grandmother said... I'll deal with your grandmother. I don't like Larissa anyway. You don't know her at all. Let's do this. I'll buy a trip to the sea for all three of us. We'll all go on vacation together. How do you like the idea? Carolyn speaking. Yuri Petrovich is having an emergency. Larissa was hit by an alcoholic in a car. Is she alive? Not much blood loss. The wound is deep. Now they are preparing an operating room. I'm here with her in the hospital emergency room. I'll be right there. Sonia, Sonia, are you asleep? Get dressed. Daddy, where are we going? To the hospital, Sonia, and Lori so sick. Does she have a fever? Almost. She is still being operated on. I do not know. It all happened so suddenly somehow. No one even saw that he had a knife. His wife was screaming a lot. We started resuscitation and then bam, and that was it. We have been working for so many years. We've had different experiences, but how could it be like this? It's Larissa. She's the best. Everything's going to be okay, you understand? Look at me, it's going to be okay. Stay with Sonia, please, and I'll see what's going on. Okay. Is she in pain? 
Yes. Daddy, are you crying? No. I feel sorry for her. Sonia. I don't want you to die like mom. Let's go to the sea. Dad will take the tickets, he promised. Thank you. Mila, come on. You can't do that. I just wanted to help you a little bit. Drop it now. I'll wash it myself. It's okay, mom. And you go lie down and rest now. What is it? Wait. Ambulance. We're in temporary labor first. Hi. Hi. Are you here too? Yes. We haven't talked for a long time. How are you? Fine. And the Institute? Also good. Both of you are here. Come on in. Have a seat. As you can see, Nastya, we haven't abandoned your case. You shouldn't have worried. We'll take it to court, and it'll decide what to do about Levchik. Something else. Why did you call me? I don't want any trial. What do you mean? I forgive you. What papers do I need to sign? Your grandmother wanted the guilty to be punished. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, go write a waiver. Why did you do that? Because I love you. <gasps> I'm sorry. Just a little more, baby. Just a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Oh, my baby, quiet. Just a little bit more. I can't go on. I'm tired, but I have to work a little harder. Come on, breathe in and breathe out a little more. The head is showing. The head is showing. Here we go. Breathe in and one last time. Well done. Well done. That's it. Oh, you're my beauty. Oh, you're my little girl. Come on. 
She's not screaming. Give it to me. Vera Ivanovna. What does that mean? God, it's not very good, but quiet quietly. Oh Lord, help her to live. If she'd just give a little more. It's all my fault. Mum, it's me. To what? I caused the birth on purpose. I wanted to leave her. Why am I such a freak? Tamara taught me to think only of myself. It turns out I'm just as ugly as she is. Now my daughter is suffering because of me. Go away. Go away. This is from the Dancer's Work Agency. You called us. I did. Have you thought about it? We have only one place left in the group. You can send us your data and we will prepare the documents. I'm not going anywhere. She breathed. Mun. She's breathing on her own. Meet your niece. What shall we call her? Hi, Mum. Let's see. Amazing. Come here. Take a look. 